Today we are embarking on the 100 Days Stardew Valley Challenge. This is going to be either one long video or a series of them on YouTube, and I, I imagine that I'm going to make this into one big show at the end, so amazing. We're just going to begin from the beginning. I'm really not particularly good at this game. I think I've played it for about three hours, so I don't know what's going on around me. We'll make it something slightly different from what we were before. I am pasty white and in danger of dying of skin cancer. And my name is actually AA. Farm name, name farm. There we go. Uh, favorite thing? Um. <sighs> plants. Pants. There we go, good. Hair will be different from my previous hair. Too edgy. That's perfect, I'm Goku. We're, ooh, we could be like Goku as a farmer, although will that be too much? We could go bald. Hmm. So many options. Now I'm on to the girly hairstyles. Not to say that long hair is girly. It could be a manly thing. However, that being said, is there any end? Oh, yes, look at me go into baldness. Wow, there's really a lot of options here. I'm probably going to have to get past this. Maybe I should just take the normal hair. I'm going to be blonde, okay? Guys, I never get to be blonde, so today I'm taking the opportunity. I don't know why this, is, this isn't really an important. I should dye my hair blonde. I should <laughs> become one of those YouTubers who dyes his hair so that people will subscribe to him. You know, like Markiplier or Ninja or Jacksepticeye. Except that as a faceless YouTuber, no one will know that I dyed my hair. I'm dyeing my hair blonde, that's it. All right, we're going to be a blonde boy. Uh, what is my favorite thing? I still don't know what my favorite name thing is. I guess, um, watching videos, it looks like I have a banana peel on my head. Fair. All right, we're gonna go for the regular farm. I am depressed, and that's why I'm playing a game with bright, oversaturated colors. Uh, this time I will not skip through the intro. 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 <laughs> this is a very important game intro. Perhaps the most important of them. For my special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. This game is about... Do I need to click through it? Nope, here we go. Thank you, grandfather. Don't open it yet. Have patience. This is a very strange pixelated bed construction. Listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Why does he have a scimitar over the fire? Oh my god. Calvin Dukes, thank you very much for the sub. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. So basically the intro is your grandfather gives you the deed to a farm. Oh, the music is so sweet. You'll be ready. When your soul is crushed, you will be ready for a gift. Also... Sh Shpidovsky, thank you very much for the sub. All right. So, XX years later. This is, like, basically the Mega Man universe. We're working in a cubicle, uh, some sort of iRobot facility. And they really, or, uh, Concerned Ape really put so much effort into every bit of pixel art in this game. It's all done by, like, hand, it appears, really. What is Joja supposed to be? Is that like Amazon because the logo is smiling? Look at the size of the computer compared to the man. Wow. Okay, so I am beginning to think of sweat. Outside of Microsoft Outlook, I glance askance into my drawer. Oh, and then I click on my envelope. If you're reading this, dire need of a change. Why did I wait so many years until I was desperate? The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature, community. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. Oh, he inherited it all. The main character didn't even work for the farm. Located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast, perfect place to sit. All right, so you, you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth and you just inherit a farm. Oh, just the answer to everything. Back in my day, we had to work on the farm. And we made, like, 12 berries a day. We weren't even paid. We were just basically sharecroppers. 
We just shared whatever was the yield of the land. Sorry, I'm going off on my disenfranchised past of farming for a, a subsistence and trying to feed my family. Everything I've told you up till this point about my YouTubing career has been a lie. I'm actually a reformed sharecropper who escaped it by YouTubing. What up, boy? Thank you very much for the sub. I'm going to turn back on notifications for a minute. So yeah, we're going to be doing 100 days. Um, why is the screen all dark? There it is. Okay, Robin. I do respect Robin. She makes her own money. Must be a... I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. I think we've been through this intro sequence before, so I won't belabor this too much. We know how Stardew Valley works. It's basically... Basically like Harvest Moon, right? The game about farming, which is now extremely overpriced. Oh, how was I able to leap thus? I feel like my commentary is the same as the last time I did. No, I have played the intro. Okay, so the farm is a mess. My grandfather... Who knows how long the farm has been this way? Okay, Robin, show me to my home. And then the mayor has been in there doing Lord knows what. The new farmer. Ah, here I come out in my driver's cap. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Perhaps related to Jack Septicai, now that I mention it. Everyone's been asking about you. Then uh, never somebody new moves in. It's quite a big deal. There's about five people in the town. We all know each other and we're sick of one another. This is like Animal Crossing. Grandfather's old cottage. Very r rustic. <laughs> How do you put something that you say out of your mouth in quotes? One wonders. Mm. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Stop making fun of my home. And it's really, I, I have to remember not to read too much into the dialogue in this game. Some people have told me that it's full of sick and horrible, twisted... No, wait, that must not be Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is a nice game. I'm misremembering. There's nothing wrong here. I almost forgot, you have to just place yourself. Place in it. I know I'm supposed to place things in the box. Good. I didn't want to skip in case if this is your first time seeing the game, although I think I'm probably the only one who hasn't played Stardew Valley, aside from the three hours I played it, but this game is possibly more addicting than... Um, I, I don't know, other video games. Other video games. Parsnip seeds. Uh, I've been told that there are optimal cra crops to use, but I would prefer to kind of muddle through this experience on my own a little bit. I will chat with you guys as I need help, although I know that I'm going to mess up some things. And I'm okay with that. I, I enjoy muddling through the game because it greatly relaxes me. Now, ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh my god. I can feel the stress of modern life fade away. Sitting in an office chair, sending emails, reading emails, going to m m emails and meetings, going to emails, eating emails for lunch, being attacked by an email, sleeping in an email, emails when they cheat on me and leave me. Um, sorry. <laughs> Wrong memories. Stardew Valley is just a game about getting away from it all, getting away from the modern life and expectations and, you know, um, uh, things that upset you. Yeah. So let's continue with... <laughs> I, I never really understood the intro sequence of this game. Like, the guy is so out, like, tired of life, of real life, but he... Well, I guess we're just farming now. It does kind of bring some of the joys of farming to me. Anyway, that is to say, I I greatly enjoy the mini games of just like wrecking everything in here. Uh, it's very relaxing. I'm going to need to kind of create some sort of story though. I guess I'm just gonna go kind of fully through the process of how I create a video essay here. Generally speaking, in years past, now that I don't really commentate videos present tense anymore, I I just kind of enjoy playing the game at, at my own pace. And then I'll like speak in retrospect of what I remembered from the game. 
And I will usually begin naively when I play these games, because if I play a game without really recording it, I don't have to really look like I know what I'm doing. So it allows me to mess up. And right now I just feel called to break things down, although I know my energy will deplete. Um, so there is that. Because I've played a little bit of Stardew Valley, but I just find this greatly enjoyable. All right, well, what we should probably do today on day one, clear out a basic area in front of the farm because we're gonna have to worry about that. Um, we're not worrying about anything really, we're trying to relax because this is supposed to be a relaxing game, right? Um, and then we're going to plant a couple of crops in front of the house because that's gonna start generating money, I suppose. And money is, in addition to the root of all evil, um, a medium of exchange. Uh, what is it? A unit of account. U money is a unit of account. And uh, transfer of... What is it? Means of transaction. Those are the three things that money are. And that's what economics says about money. But yeah, we need some money. Uh, so we have to go ahead and do that first. So let's go ahead and plow the land. Here we go. Oh, look at it go. There must be a better way to like do this, but... Mm. All right, that's fine. Okay, parsnips, and then there were those crops that took a really long time to grow the last time, and everyone was saying that I should I should grow them. And then I just got a little bit upset because I didn't think everyone was really working in my best interest because they took too long to grow. So I am, please don't lead me astray is what I'm trying to say. I'm a good person. People were le telling me about all the dirty jokes in this game. And, um. No, I feel purity when I play Stardew Valley. You know, I'm just a man trying to farm. Uh, I don't know why there was something like that. Purity. Uh, sorry, I come from like a very, uh, mm, I call it like hardcore Catholic background. But one thing that was always interesting to me was that the the monks would farm. I got very into, like, monks when I was a kid for some reason. I don't know, it was kind of an odd thing to be into as a kid. I guess it's kind of like a militaristic sort of thing. Kind of like, uh, kind of like the Jesuits. But that is to say that the, um, the monks would farm. You're already feeling the stress of every day. Are you able to feel the stress departing your body through your fingers and your toes as you watch Stardew Valley? Is it equally relaxing? M. Graymo, thank you very much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Are there dirty jokes in Graveyard Keeper? Who is that, Tiny Build? Graveyard Keeper is high on the list, but I supposed that I should play Stardew Valley before I played Graveyard Keeper. Because I thought Graveyard Keeper seemed more of one of the, like a Stardew Valley-like game than, than the other way around, you know what I mean? Like, didn't start, or am I totally off in my history in that? Didn't Stardew come first? Stardew was like the father, like the Darth Vader of farming ga games in modern day. Obviously, Stardew Valley is basically just like Harvest Moon, which I believe is the most original game. But then before that, they had actual farming. <laughs> actual farming was like the original farming game. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I was always surprised at how much this game was like Harvest Moon. Uh, I did play the original Harvest Moon but I didn't play it on a Super Nintendo. I played it on the Wii Virtual Console. There I go again, off playing my Wii. <laughs> it's bothering me that I didn't get that into an actual pattern. I thought I counted five, but it was six. Uh, so I do apologize for that. That's bothering me as well. Oh, yeah. I got a whole swath of them. A swathe of them. Hmm. Here we go. Good. All right, um... Oh, I'm starting to- Oh no, my energy bar is beginning to shake! <laughs> what a poor man I am! How ridiculously difficult. Well, what I should have done was get crops, but I got kind of carried away there today. I was having too much fun destroying things, but to you know, tomorrow, we will go into town. The first day, I got really tired. That'll just be how I remembered it. Actual farming is on sale as a game? Really? Hang on a second, how do I... How do I... Oh, right click, there we are, okay. Man, what a day full of gaiety. All right, so 3.20 p.m. 
Maybe not like the ideal time to sleep. Oh, I could take a- I could go to the spa to get my energy back? Oh, that's kind of cool. Hey, I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, it would have been good to check the weather. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we could check the weather. Okay, let's go check the weather. Good. I like this. This is kind of like the pace that's good for me to take in tips. Um, if I do anything, feel free to say it. Um, I, I might look a little bit. I might not. I don't hate you or something like that. I just kind of want to pick it up slowly because otherwise I do start to feel like I'm memorizing stuff. But thank you. I appreciate it. Kozu5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. Now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. He didn't even say the region. This is like the family guy version of the weather. Remember that? Who is the gentleman on family guy who would rain? Who was the family guy? Was it Peter? It had to be Peter. That was never explained. Like the Simpsons, that was their last name. There was no guy. Was it Joe? Was it Quagmire? Which one was the guy? Peter is, okay, it was Peter Griffin. Peter, it's in the, oh, he is the family guy. Interesting, obs. It wasn't called The Simpson or something like that. All right, well, today my intent was to uh, purchase seeds. So we, we're gonna go into the local store. Whoops, I didn't mean to water the local store. That was a mistake. Oh, we have a little bit of time before it begins. Well, before we do any of that, let's go over to the side area. Um, I do believe we have a map here. Now we're gonna go to the evil department store, though that also opens at nine o'clock. Joja Mart. Oh, god damn it! Those were the people that we were working for. We can never ex we can never escape the corporate infrastructure of modern America. Oh, late stage capitalism is starting to destroy my life one day at a time. Ah, isn't it so relaxing to be back on the farm? Search everyone's trash like a goblin. Is that available? I mean, this is the question. Well, I mean, to say something. Here we go, I'm filling that up. I think that, um, no, oh no, it's not strong enough. And my ax. I thought that Stardew Valley, and, or really Harvest Moon did a really good job, like instilling in me time management principles as a kid. You know, like, uh, oh, I can use the beginning part of the day to work on this thing because this thing is available or like oh I can see that some of these tasks are going to need an entire season to grow and like the dimension of time and the dimension of labor is different here on the x-axis and the y-axis and I would do this out in my head as a kid and I really enjoyed it like just the sense of everything kind of progressing it's very efficient you know a farm it's a nice place to work it's good it's a good place. It's a good place to be. Um, here we go back off again into the woods. Again, I don't want to deplete my energy too, too much. Tomorrow it will rain, and I won't have to water the crop. But let's go ahead, and I'm going to bring back out my... <laughs> and then I'm going to bring back out my garden. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, to, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I just think that gardening is so joyful. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so immature. <laughs> yeah, okay, cauliflower. That was the really valuable stuff, right? I want to say, ooh, kale. We can get on some kale juice shots. Oh, yeah. Cauliflower seeds are 80 Hello. coins. Hello. Hey, girl kisser. How you doing? Thanks very much for the 18 months. I do appreciate that. Okay, Joja Mart. Joja's Bizarre Adventure. What are my thoughts on the intricacies of agriculture? I don't really have them. Jo join us. Thrive. They look upset. They all have bags under their eyes. Yeah, this is corporate America. Brown bread. Do you have the things... You have what I need, sister. Hello. Oh, she does have what I need. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're charging even more? Someone told me that this place is cheaper. They lied. But perhaps it is cheaper at some times. 
But I live in a fantasy land where my viewers are trying to deceive me. Which is often uh, the real world, actually. Usually my viewers are trying to deceive me here on Twitch. They enjoy my suffering for their own sick, twisted ends. Let's buy two bags of cauliflower seeds. I think that's allowed, right? All right, um... Cauliflower is the big profit, right? Okay, that is the one I do know. Someone had told me that in the first stream. That was not a lie, apparently. It was important to know which crops are good. As it happened when I first played RimWorld. People were trying to get all my colitis addicted to various addict addiction substances. I wouldn't have that. Although they all were... Well, it was smoke leaf and, like, psychite tea. It, was, it wasn't really that bad, but... It was kind of funny. Um, you, wait a minute. It was 80 per seed? Or did I just totally mess that up? Is it really that expensive? Wow. Wow, I thought that was two bags. Okay, let's go back and buy more. I was a surprise. Seeds are expensive. Now, is there a way to reap the seeds from the ground when we're done? Can we get them from the, uh... Oh, also, picking flowers? Okay. Can I do... No, you lied again. Maybe I could destroy them, just vandalize everyone's property. Here, I picked the flowers out front. Just take them. Take them. Pay, pay me. Here we go. I'm going to spend the rest of the money that I, is probably gonna be rather ill-advised on cauliflower seeds. I'm a man who requires no subsistence. I'm just a farmer who, he's never even eaten or had anything to drink. This to me is confusion. How come they can simulate the effects of growing crops, but they can't simulate the effects of getting very hungry? Oh, you have to use the seeds to make more seeds. Late game, there's a seed extractor. Well, that's very nice of them. Oh, that is kind of cool. Yeah, I would like to get up to that late game. But for right now, we're going to spend all the money on cauliflower seeds, I suppose. Water these. These do take a while to grow, I believe. Um, question, 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 chat. Can you destroy the crops by walking over them? Uh, or is that an unsavory thing to do? Ooh, I got a turd. Wow. Geodude. A local blacksmith can break it open. There we go. <laughs> Have you ever just brought a solid turd to a blacksmith? He always knows what to do with it. <laughs> oh, awesome. Thank you for bringing, <laughs> bringing me another one of these things. Oh, Jesus. Man, I really have a lot of issues. It's probably because I streamed twice today. I, I hadn't streamed in about a month, so I felt like getting back to it. And right now we're doing the, I guess we're doing the 100 days, so it's making me kind of... Well, I feel like oddly nostalgic. I'm trying to think of some topics that I want to talk about during this, because we're probably going to be playing the game for, I would say, like... I don't know, it could be as much as... How long does it take to get 100 days in the game? Like 30 hours or something like that? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a while that we're here, and then I'm going to come out with a big video essay at the end of it. I'm excited. Uh, there's a lot to be done. But I, I would really like to talk about, I don't know, the nature of life and gaming and get a little bit philosophical in it. I think like we did with Kenshi, but I edited most of that out. Although I related more of it to like capitalism and life and my own life and pressures and like things that I thought a lot of people would. We actually had like a great big seance in the middle of the Kenshi 100 Days Torso series. And I thought it was a great thing and I thought it, unfortunately I had to edit it out because it was too much like, it was just me talking about random stuff from my own life, which just got kind of off topic. Um, but I think I'll probably get into that when I get further in. I like to get really, really deep and kind of like introspective in these playthroughs. Uh, to the point where it even becomes kind of cringe and bad. Uh, because the two people who remain with me to see the end of the, of the video will have maybe discovered something about themselves. I, I sometimes enjoy doing this myself on YouTube. Just listening to a grown man uh, play a video game for uh, 30 hours and then get more and more confused and start thinking about life and the way things are going. And for me, that's 
that's how I avoid, you know, thinking about my own trials and tribulations. You guys ever find that happens to you in life? It was weird recently. Like I when I was a when I was a teenager and a student, I couldn't really stand um I think it was because I hadn't really made it for myself in life, you know, like in any ways. I hadn't really done anything that I felt like was valuable creatively. I didn't really have a job or anything like that. I didn't really know who I was. So I couldn't really enjoy team sports or being around other people as much. Like I, I found that I was often pursuing passions. But lately, I think over the last couple of years, now that I've spent more time on YouTube, actually, I really, I find that I'm getting energized by just being around other people. It was like I used to be more of an introvert. Um, or I would gain a lot more energy by being alone. And I still do, don't get me wrong, but um, there's something now about... Uh, kind of like the message of this game, which is be your body outside with other people. I think we have the two steps here. That's the secret to happiness, you know. Your body outside with other people. Why are you watching this video? Um, that is to say, that's the secret of happiness. Though I also like a doomer, scroll down the YouTube feed and look at funny cats while I'm sitting on the toilet on Twitter. And it also gives me great joy and smiles to be had that I send to my relatives. That's what I send. That's how I communicate with my mother and my sister. We just send each other pictures of cats and various inconvenient poses that we found online. And that's how we communicate across three states. And it's a good... It's a good life. It's a good, uh... Our relationship is evolving in ways. You have family members like that that do that? It's a good time. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm starting to shake of exhaustion. There we go. Oh, my God, the mail! It makes me want to wag my tail. Hello there. Just got back from the fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. Oh, his name used to be Dick, right? But then they found that to be too much. That's too much information. It's too on the nose, shall we say. Ah, uh, a rain day. Something about the pitter-patter of raindrops that makes me more introspective and feel like all things are coming to an end, and that's okay. Man, it really is a great game that has good pixel art weather. It's pretty in this game how the raindrops stream downward. Like, not in a straight line, but in kind of a diagonal direction. I can see a lot of that pixel art dynamism. As an art historian, I can appreciate the labors of the paintbrush that was used to create this game. What was I saying before? AA. Oh, yes, the AA therapy sessions. Basically what I do with these. Puppet EVF, thank you very much for the 27 months. I do feel like I got through... It was weird. I think by um, uh, playing Kenshi for about 48, 48 hours... No, it was 24 hours. I played Kenshi for 24 hours. And I was able to basically save myself several, like... Uh, basically therapy sessions, because I just got through so much of my life. Surprisingly, by talking about everything. And they pay for this. Ahoy there, son. I'm Willie. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to- I don't know why I'm being so sensual. It's nautical men. There's something about it that just is arousing. I'm still trying to unwind. Maybe it's because he's moist. A big haul. Oh, yeah, he got a big haul of- fish, of course. Buy me a new rod. Here, take my rod into your hand, boy. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you buy something from the shop once in a while. Okay, so Captain Willy Bo Billy uh, gives us the thing, of course, and uh, I don't really need tree sap. I don't have much of a use for that right now. That's fine, uh, but we should go store some things away. Okay, he's gazing out at the sea. Preggie, hey, thank you very much for the sub. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. 
Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> Pap used to say that anyway. All right. Mr. W Mr. Wiener. I don't know why everything about this man is phallic, but apparently that was the theme of the game. I'm going to head back for a minute only because I think I need to... Um, I'm just going to look into the inventory here for a second. Yeah, I don't really have space, as you can hopefully appreciate. Uh, there's not much else I can do. I could put some of the mixed seeds into the ground. I think I'm going to do that because I just got to free up some more of my inventory for this. Uh, that is not the right way to go. Um, ooh, she sells seashells. Because she doesn't have a job. <laughs> as the old as the old tongue twister went. <laughs> she sells seashells. And she's living off of the government. <laughs> I always struggled to say that. Get it out of my mouth. Her job is selling s seashells. That is, it is a dream job. Lemonade. Lemonade. Alright, let's see what happens when we plow. <laughs> plow the earth beneath us. Oh my gosh, wow. The earth watered itself. Thank you. Let's just put in more of these seeds. I'm not really going to pay much attention here. I suppose that putting the seed... Oh my god, look at that. Wow, we could get mixed seeds from nothing. So there was a purpose to just bothering the ground by, uh, you know, doing what we did. Okay, we have all of this wood. Now, we can sell basically anything, right? We could sell wood. We could sell fiber from grass. Uh, do we really have a reason to do this? We do have a chest inside, right? I'm just going to go ahead and have a look here. We are on day three, so let's go ahead and, you know, take stock of our surroundings a little bit. Uh, where is our... Don't we have a chest? Oh, no, we build a chest. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We will craft a chest. Wow, amazing. There it is, a very long boy chest. Can I put these outside, perhaps? Oh my god, you can! Wow, what an amazing day. Hopefully no one will vandalize it. The, uh, the geode from the blacksmith. Let's do the fishing, because I do enjoy the fishing in this game. It's a fun game. Don't question it. Let's, um, let's keep going. Let's do something different, because uh, variety is the spice of life. Yeah, I wanted to have a little bit of variety in the first few days. Maybe we'll take the first 10 to 15 days to just explore and see what, what there is. You can do a multiplayer game with 20... Oh, can you do a multiplayer game with 20 people? No, but this... I don't know. This game does have co-op, though, right? Maybe if our first farm is successful, I'll invite a... a uh... A lover to play with me. Yeah. Seashell. Oh, I couldn't even say it from the first word. I said sea instead of she. And then I just pooped myself. Man. Whoop. Alright, let's see. Is any water available for fish? Nope. Okay, hang on a second. Let's try further out on the dock. All right. Uh, that was a nice long throw. Long boy throw. Waiting. This is a little bit like Animal Crossing. Now, do the fish change from day to day like in Animal Crossing? Oh, damn it! Yes. Max. In Animal Crossing, when it was raining... Big fish would emerge. Ah, dang it. It, like, made a noise. Reaction time. Season-based. I guess I need to wait for the humdinger to go into the water, right? Oh, no, that didn't work either. There was an alert. Time of day. Time of day. Valid. Valid. Should I get it whenever there's an exclamation point or when it goes down? Okay, there we go. Hit. Oh, now I remember how the fish game worked. Just highlight the fish. There we go. Nemo. Nemo. 
Have you seen my son? Nemo. There we go. Okay, I found a sunfish. Hey, great job. <laughs> that was a fun fishing song, wasn't it? <laughs> Hoo-ha-ha. -ha. Hoo -ha, ha Have you seen my son? I feel so joyful. Seaweed. That's not... Have you seen my seaweed? Oh my god, I'm on a roll. Uh, Nemo. Nemo. Have you seen my son? Nemo. 42. Wallaby. Nemo. Nemo. Have you seen my son? Oh, a flounder. With the two eyes on the one side of the head. That is weird. See my weed. Have you seen my weed? Oh, dang it. Alright, it's fine. Well, it's really not fine. Oh, Jesus. The fishing... Uh, do we really level up from the fishing, or do we... How do we... Is this just nonsense? Okay, now he sells the fish. Oh, he will buy the fish back from us. I'll allow it. The bamboo pole is better than the training rod, probably. Uh, but can catch only basic fish. Fish tank. We could store the fish. Oh, that would be very exciting. Like we could in... Animal Crossing was very exciting like this. This game really does have a kind of an Animal Crossing mixed with uh, Harvest Moon kind of vibe. I played a lot of Animal Crossing when I was a kid because I had a lot of time on my hands. Animal Crossing is basically like just a chore for children to do every day and keep them preoccupied. Uh, a gull. Could it be killed? What do we need? 300 pieces of wood to fix that. Okay, we could. that's probably doable. Let's start to explore. Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. I love this. Like when a game has is full of secrets, you know. And it doesn't want to tell you. We'll head over... Uh, well, what is this? Church. Is it a church? It looked like a church. Man, the houses in this game are just so nice. Like, they really feel like they labored on them. Teaching kids about... Or, I mean, he... Yeah, the creator was a star... Uh, harvest... Starvest Moon. Sorry, that's the cannibalistic Harvest Moon uh, uh, spin-off, I suppose. Oh, what is this? For women? Cast your crusty baguette. Uh, 50 energy, 22 health. Well, I mean, for me, it would be for women. If I'm trying to woo one of the women, this was a dynamic of... Harvest Moon. After you converted the women to your religion, then it was acceptable to bed them in Harvest Moon, I believe. And then I believe that the game concludes when you have an animal, and then you get a... I mean a child, and then you get a divorce. And that's how Harvest Moon ended. <sighs> like, get into a great big litigious divorce, too. You know? And then that's where Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney comes out of. I believe that's... Oh, no, that was Capcom. My Frog King. Hope you're well. I like that would be an interesting game. Look ambi, smash ambi, love. Like a very realistic... <laughs> tired Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wrong. Or better call Saul. That would be good. Also, Big Kratos, thank you for the sub. And Real Moodle for the three months. Hey, SoCal Swede with the 26 months. How are you doing, SoCal? What's up, dude? How's California treating you? Like the new badges? Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, this thing Cacophony did a really good job on the badges. We got like some sort of leveling up kind of deal going on so that we have color coordination on the channel badges and I'm excited about it. <laughs> I'm happy that you noticed it. It's like I got a new haircut. No one ever compliments me on how I look. You know, AA, you look very breedable today. AA, my, I love what you've worn today. You know, as a... Hang on a second. It'd be nice if you said some of those things about me from time to time. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why those are the things that I would desire for others to say about me. Let's go ahead and put the seaweed in here. Oh, I'm going to put away the sap because people tricked me into eating the sap the last time because they were mean. Your appearance has me pondering. Saw a bunch of my friends in plastic tubs for sale today. I don't know what that means. 
Somebody told me about this jar thing. I think you guys are all sick and disgusting. I would never think of anything that uh, perverse. I was just trying to sell a, a plush toy and you were telling me about your jars and what you're putting in them. And I find that disgusting. You know, like that meme of the Scottish woman yelling at her children for not flushing the toilet. Uh. <laughs> Do they say that in Scotland? You have a shit? Is that a thing? I thought that was a good time. I thought that was a good time. If I like the sap, sap try the mushroom. I'm going to keep just clearing out the farm. Now, I am going to explain myself. Not that I need to explain all of my actions, but I'm trying to... Uh, uh, spend my time and energy in the right ways. Like, if I go to bed before it's night and I'm totally out of energy, that's kind of a waste of the day, you know? Like, I feel like it is... Keep it is right and proper nap, my good man to go up on this route. Uh, I don't know, know what you'd ever mean by that. Hey, Dead Burger Boy, thank you very much for the eight months. I'll do it for you. Oh, Jesus. Christ, I'm getting that kind of, like, um, peanuts look in my eyes. Like, you know, like Charlie Brown kind of look in the eyes. Where he looks like Charlie Brown has seen some shit. You know what look I'm talking about? That expression on Charlie Brown's face. Not that I'm, like, a child watching Charlie Brown every day, but that's just what comes to mind. Because of how pasty white I am. Oh, very cool, very cool. The axe proficiency has risen. Trees sometimes drop seeds. Wow, very cool. That does not look like a field snack. That looks like something you got to get checked out by your GP. Wild seeds. Sp. I've never planted spa before. Oh, money, money. Yeah. Cool. 216 Gs. We should probably clear out the rest of the farm. Day four. All right. Very exciting. Very exciting. I guess the days will get longer and even more exciting as we go on. Okay, so let's um go ahead and remind your boy AA of uh, what should we do. So we check the weather every day. What else should we do every day? We check people's garbage? What is like the standard operating procedure? for the day. Kozu5, your number one source for weather, news, and well, just weather, really. It's going to rain tomorrow. Check the other broadcast. Okay, what about the fortune teller? I sense a new viewer has joined us. A new man from... S oh, this is very creepy. Spirits feel neutral today. Neutral. The day is in your hands. Okay, that told me nothing. Living off the land. Welcome to Living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check out for the spring onions. Oh, southwest of town where the river meets it. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing up. Oh, cool, wow. Southwest. Oh, cool, so we could go over here and there's some spring onions. We're probably going to have to cut our way through a forest in order to get there, but oh, that's a thing. We can unlock like a bigger watering can as well, I believe, right? Oh, you know, we could also kind of replenish our energy throughout the day now that we're getting some actual food. It does come to mind. But I think the bigger limiter is just the crops. Let's just try to uh, put capitalism to work. We're going to make some money this way. It's cool. We're going to see a couple more crops. Very exciting and stuff. Uh, I think we'll just focus on making money and getting the land, doing what we want it to. And then we'll start to go into the stores and spend money on things that'll make us more efficient. And for me, that gives me great joy. Oh, an advertisement. Oh, if we want to go into the dungeons, too. We want to check the lock. Oh, the lock. Oh, that's an interesting way to go about it. Yeah, the grind truly does never stop. I wish for no one to know me. Uh... Step up Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24. Ooh, that's very cool. Hang on a second. Pierre has a big backpack for me. I got a man with a big bag waiting for me. Uh, hang on a second. I don't know why I had to say that and make it weird. But it's too late now. 
Right, let's go ahead and bring the geodes to the blacksmith and see what he has to say about them. Yes, I've seen geodes like this before. Of course I have. Hang on a second. How do I... There we go. Oh, okay. Chad, is there any reason for me to save the grass and stuff like that? Um, the wood. I was told if I could save those things, it would be useful, but... Let's go to Mr. Blacksmith, man. Pierre's General Store, River Road Trailer, Mayor's Manor. Yeah, there's the blacksmith right there, but we do need to wait a little bit longer, so let's give him some time to open up. Peace Bloom, thank you very much for the sub. Grass is... Watch your mouth. <laughs> do not talk about grass thus. Grass is the source of life. My milk is grass-fed. I started doing this. I started drinking the grass-fed milk because it's supposed to keep you alive forever. It's ridiculously expensive, though. I don't know why. These cows must be eating, like, dollar bill grass or something like that. It's okay, save the grass. What about the stones? Should I save the stones? Oh, okay, I'll need the boxes. Thank you, that's sensible. I appreciate it. I suppose I should make some more chests. That is fair. That is a fair thing to say. Let's uh, put this coal over. We're going to have to decide on something to destroy, unfortunately, now. Oh, dear. Oh, no, we just put it on the ground. That's fine. Well, we'll make another chest. Here we are. We'll put that there. Oops, uh, I might accidentally destroy everything. Let's put some of this in there. We could probably put away the tools, too, if we wished. Stones make for apparel. Okay, store a few hundred stone. I buy that. I believe you. Let's try having some seaweed. Eat. Eat the seaweed. Good. I bet you that's really healthy for you, you know? I've been trying to eat a better diet lately. I've been having this green tea. I'm going to take a sip of this green tea now. It, why is it that I feel like a Chinese philosopher when I'm drinking green tea? Does green tea... Why did I want to say that that had, like, Eastern connotations, green tea? Is it from the East? Or has it just been, like... Who was it that originated, originally drank the green tea? Seaweed. Uh, I, you know, I'm starting to realize that I, this might be a little bit problematic, that I, I ask you guys just basically any question that comes to mind. I've grown accustomed to this. It's kind of a luxury of having a fairly large Twitch audience. And I'm starting to just believe everything that you say. Um, so I might be just getting misinformation, it occurs to me. But it is usually one of the few times when I can just go totally stream of, stream of consciousness. Because I do find myself... You ever do this throughout the day? You just Google things that you're wondering about? This is a rare modern luxury for most of human history. If you didn't know the information, you had to go to a library and look through the reference, well, through most of human history. Yes, back in the caveman era, they would use the reference cards at the library to find the information that they saw, how to create a fire. They went to the library to learn. And that's what, uh, that's what science says. Yeah. Anyway, but it is a rare luxury. Tea is just an everywhere thing. Well, where is the green? I mean, were they able to distill the color green? What is the green tea? What is the herb? What is the... What is the plant? Everyone tells me about this. I've been starting to have it. Honestly, I, I, I don't know if it does something. I was trying to check my... Uh, I've been, like, exercising a lot more lately. I've... I've been getting into, like, tracking heart rate and stuff like this. I try not to do it because if you look at the numbers too much, you, like, you start to feel like, oh, well, I'm not healthy this week, and it just makes it weird. But I did notice that when I had changed my diet to all these really healthy foods, like, my sleeping heart rate rate went... My sleeping heart rate... <laughs> my sleeping heart rate went down really low. Like, I have really good cardiovascular health, and... Uh, one night I hit like 34 BPM in my sleep for a minute. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die. 
Like, I went to the doctor and they were like, oh, this is problematic. Oh, wait. Oh, you exercised. You're fine then. Like, because they thought there was something wrong. But I was like, oh, cool. Like, I'm, I'm in good health and there's not something wrong with me. But, yeah, I noticed that it started going back up to, like, the mid, like, lower to mid 40s when I stopped eating that. I was eating cookies and stuff. Or I don't know if it had to do with stress or what. It's funny, like, sometimes you'll sleep for a long time at night, but your heart rate doesn't really go down. And then one day I, I napped for an hour and my heart rate went way down. I was like, I can't figure this stuff out, but it's interesting. I feel as though that this is relevant topic matter in Stardew Valley, when the theme is getting back to nature. Now I can think about not the bottom line, the corporate world, but... I've done that a lot more in my own personal life, though. I, I think now that I've... Now I'm working with editors a little bit more. It just gives me a little bit more free time to kind of think about it. like my own daily activities. That is nice. I wouldn't have done it any differently, but I, I was editing videos like pretty much every single day for a year. Ooh, seeds, seeds. Ooh. Check out this guy. Bra I am bragging about exercising. I'm not very good at, at sports. I'm pretty bad at it. I have a good heart, but I have poor circulation. Poor circulation. So that means that I'll eventually, eventually I might be able to live the in real life tour solo experience. You know, that I might be able to, hang on a second, we are out of energy already and it's only 2.40 PM. I got so excited about farming that I forgot my job. Man. Hmm? Nothing doing there. Let's leave the grass. Let's just put the grass away with the other grass. We do have a lot of labor in front of us. What's a good life without some labor? 187, we could almost repair that uh, that bridge. I'm excited to repair that bridge. I want to unlock another thing to cross. Although we might need something to give us more energy because I feel like we're wasting a lot of time now on these days. You know? I feel like we could be using it. Let's go. Water is healthier than tea. I drink a lot of water, too. Ah, pickaxe, pickaxe proficiency. I am the most he healthy. Is it really, though? Hmm. It's nice to drink something other than water, though. I pretty much drank nothing but water and, like, some milk. I pretty much totally got rid of flavored drinks. It gets kind of boring. I mean, but I gave up, like, all kind of bad beverages. Not, like, because... Because it's, uh... It just became a bit much, you know? There's a lot of soda out there. Everybody has so much soda. I do like it now, though. I like eating a little bit healthier. It, it makes me feel good. Uh, let's go ahead and put... Ooh, higher quality parsnipage. Look at these parsnips. Oh, I said that all sing song. Okay, I can put one of them back in. I would like to keep one parsnip with me for science. Um, well, really just for uh, planting. No. It comes to mind what kinds of things could we buy in order to make life a little bit more convenient. There was that backpack gentleman who wanted to sell me something. How much did that cost? Obviously, we can see that, you know, life is kind of a waste if we don't use leveraged tools. So we need to kind of like uh, think about life and the way things are going. But obviously, I get so caught up in the act of farming every day that I just forget what uh, what was uh, coming to me. Let's go ahead and see if the luck for today is any better. Soon, maybe we'll start to think about going down to that mine and killing people. I mean, monsters in it. Fish is a good source of food. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, maybe we could go fishing. I wonder, can you go fishing in your ponds over here, too? I'm going to try this one for science. Or is it available only in the sea? Oh, cool. I actually got a can of cola. That's sweet. So I don't have to do that. I can kind of sell it. That's nice. Wow. A sentient can of cola. I'm sure it's safe to drink that. Oh, glasses! Hey! I bet you there's some cool stuff in there. This game has so many neat Easter eggs. It really feels like a Nintendo game. 
Robin, I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, ooh, consider having me build a well for you. Well, yes. Uh, just swing by my shop with 75 stones and 1,000 G when you're ready for it. Service convenience place for you to refill your watering can. I guess we don't really need that right now, but that would be a help. Man, there's just such a surplus of, uh, of options to go through in the game. A sentient can of cola. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just drink it. To our valued Joe Mart customers, our team's members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation. What a great PR team they have for the Mountain Lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Uh, responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any... There we go. Okay. Support and continued patent. All right. Here we go. And they're freaks. They are freaks in there. I'm gonna... I mean, maybe some of these are... I, I don't know if some of these things are, like, rare items. I guess if I don't have a use for them, I'm just gonna throw them in. Can you retrieve it if you... Right. If if I throw away anything good, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'm just probably going to do whatever I will and live with the consequences. I suppose uh, there was a use for the stone, so now that does make sense. Let's also just go ahead and check in on our character's general statistics, shall we? Fishing, we could be better. Combat, better. I think it's a good time to do these types of things because these are the kind of more long-term tasks and then the adventuring will come later. Let's also check the report as well. Um, although I do want to use up a little bit more energy before the store opens. I forgot to check the news today. But yeah. You know, this game teaches you to live life by a routine. That is, to do the same things every day until you're bored. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. There we go. Fortune teller. Okay, uh, spirits are good humor today. Oh, a little extra luck. All right, maybe it's time to go down to... The Dangerous Dungeon. The Dangerous Dungeon, that's right. Let's drink the Joja Cola. Damn it. There we go. Uh, back in here. Fiber, we'll put away all of this crap. Uh, I do have a seed in there. But I, I really just want to get to that dungeon, because if we have better luck today, then that'll be a worthwhile opportunity. But yeah, I couldn't figure it out, because, you know, it's like, diet is one of those things where it's... uh. It's like, you never really see the effects of it. Maybe a little bit. Let's say a little bit. I remember, for example, one time when I was in college, uh, I had really bad, like, acne on my face. So I went vegan for a little while, and it actually kind of disappeared. And then I just started to feel weak and hungry, though. So then I started taking up some animal products again, because I didn't think I handled that very well. Uh, and it's been exactly that way ever since. And that's what science says about it all for sale backpack upgrade Ooh, only 2,000 gold that's pretty good right should we get more cauliflower seeds since these are the big money maker let's just load up on these things we're gonna play the long-term game look at me gaming the system uh, and I'm just gonna assume that I won't die in the mine let's go over here and that should be unblocked But yeah, I was I was kind of wondering if it would get me into better, uh, feeling better. I think it's just a good thing to think about, you know. Uh, I'm pretty young and healthy, so I'm fortunate enough, you know, knock on wood. But, uh, yeah, I think it's a good thing to think about at any, at any age. I remember my parents got into, like, eating healthier when I was around 12. We used to have a lot of McDonald's. Nothing wrong with McDonald's. If it keeps you stress-free, but also, uh... Well, we didn't have a lot of McDonald's, but they got into, like, a health kick because they got older. Got me into eating better when I was at a younger age. Yeah, I, no, I bought a Subaru, too. <laughs> Going hiking tomorrow. No, I'm not, I'm not getting that bad, guys. Marlin. With the eye patch. Very secretive. Very piratey. Yeah, our luck should be good. We have luck. Good luck today. Peering down this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. How would you know? Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place. <laughs> it's a little bit runescape. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Does he have a sword? Oh, good. He does have a sword. 
Man, so many mysterious men have given me phallic objects. Thank you. Marlin, by the way, I run the Adventurers Guild right outside town. Ooh, a guild! Oh my god, I want a quest! Oh, this is great! Guys, when I moved to this, uh... The place I live, one of the, um... I don't want to dox myself, I almost doxed myself right there. Whoops-a-daisy! Uh, when I moved to the place that I live, uh, one of my friends is a Knight of Columbus. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but I... They're like a... They're a Catholic organ. I believe they're... Are they Catholic? Whatever they are. Um... Back in back when I lived at home, they used to just be a bunch of guys who would drink a lot, and they had a great time, and then they like raised money for a cause. But I was trying to get him to give me a quest, because after all, he is a knight of Columbus, isn't he? What more should knights of Columbus do than grant quests to traveling adventurers? When I had moved here, but unfortunately, he didn't have a quest. Um, so that was honestly the worst part of meeting him. But yeah, if you guys ever meet a Knight of Columbus, be sure to ask them for a quest. And they'll generally have one for you, I, I think, anyway. Alright, let's see. More ore. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is where we encounter the slimes. I want to say that this reminds me of... Is it Rune Factory Harvest Moon? We've been having a renaissance of Nintendo DS games. Rune Factory Harvest Moon was a great game. Although one that I unfortunately- Oh, I saw you move! Dingus. Dingus Dongus. Hello. Ooh, what a satisfying sound effect and things like that. Oh my god, why did we have to kill people in the game? I felt so good about myself. I suppose that the stones are somewhat unnecessary here. I don't feel good about it, but let's take the cherry bomb. I don't think we're going to find much more, though, that we can carry in our inventory. We just need a bigger backpack before we come here. This is why it costs money to go on adventures. Don't even bother unless if you have money. You can't bring your, like, your Patagonia backpack or whatever the hell you're trying to do. Wait a second. What is this? This is very cool. This is reminding me of Undermine now. I like Undermine. You should go back and play that game. Oh my god, you know, I just really just totally slipped out right there. I totally slipped out of my stream of consciousness. Traveling Penguin, thank you very much for the, pri for the Prime. I do appreciate that for the 10 months. As well, I'm going to leave the mine right now. I know my luck is good, but... I just simply don't have any more inventory space. And also, Wizard Freak for the thousand bits from before. That was a very generous donation, and I just completely missed that because I was looking at something else. I do apologize that. Thank you for the very generous donation, with Wizard Freak. That's very kind of you. I looked at it, and then I thought in my head that I had said something, and then now I looked at it again, and I just realized I was talking about life and the way things were going. And I... I'm sorry. Also, Peace Bloom. Thank you very much for the sub. Use the Cherry Bomb to keep the stones. Oh, I could use the Cherry Bomb. Mm. That's fair. I suppose I just want to keep everything with me, and maybe it's too much of a good thing. Oh, no, the thing is locked. Uh, didn't we get to go in here before Community Center? I want to say we did. Oh, ooh, farm. Name farm. <laughs> I forgot that I named it Name Farm. What a great name for a farm. Right, I, I would like to get more crops into the ground, though. I uh, It is a game about farming. Let's exhaust ourselves of the farming first. We've done a little bit of the splorin'. Now it's time to do a little bit more of the farming. What was that? Is there, like, secret... Oh, Jesus, what the hell is this? Somebody's just growing stuff. Like, around? Hang on a second. Um. Whoops. No, Jesus. Okay, throw it in the trash that I keep around with me all the time. Like a black hole in my pocket. There's just leaks growing out in the wild. Uh, 
Uh, copper ore seems like something worth saving. I'm going to save all of these adventuring supplies, too. This, I don't even really need Harvest Moon anymore. Along with this. Um, cut more cauliflower seeds. Okay, it's a good time to... It's always a good time to plant cauliflower, but... I just feel like I want to get more stuff in the ground, you know? Maybe it's just that having stuff planted feels like... I don't know, like an investment, as it were. Like an investment in tomorrow. An investment in the future. An investment in... Uh, something else, you know? Hmm... The hollow foley sound of this is very nice. Is that a foley sound effect? What is a foley sound effect? Name farm. Yeah, have some name peaches and radishes. Enjoy them at your own risk. We don't use pesticides, but maybe you'll wish that we did after you see what happens to you with, when you eat a pest. I did used to have this. We would buy, like, farmer's market corn, you know. I'm not saying that I like pesticides. But, uh, corn is one of those foods where there's just, like, there's just a caterpillar on the inside of it. Uh, uh, though you do know that they, it was all natural the way they did it, and they didn't, they definitely didn't use pesticides, but unfortunately, uh, we didn't even get to have the corn because there was just, like, there were a lot of bugs on the inside of it. And so you learn why they use the pesticides in the first place. I'm not saying that they should, but I'm saying that... I don't know, maybe we should ask the bugs to leave or something like that. Ask them very nicely. Please go away. Could we plant that there? No, let's plant a maple tree over here. It's nice. I like that. Good. Here, I'm a tired boy. It's 6.40 p.m. It's around my bedtime. There's something just so honest about turning in after a long day of, you know, plowing. I know there is for me. Oh, when you make a sound effect, ooh, it's the garden fairy, everyone. Look, blessing the plants. Oh my god. Either that, or this is some sort of drug-induced hallucination. Wow! My watering can and hoe proficiency improved. And the scarecrow recipe, wow, and basic fertilizer, you just poop on the ground. You think any farmers just don't purchase a toilet and they just... They just poop onto the ground? And we're just eating their dung? I mean, <laughs> ding. I mean... <laughs> Do is what I meant to say. <laughs> I did not mean to say that. We're not eating a farmer's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, just ignore it. We'll just have to get that. Uh, notice you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. Everyone is spying on me in this town by Clint. Who just names their child? Lint. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Okay, Clint. You have such a fine, evil beard. So it happens I had an extra set of... Uh, my roommate had this beard, and, and he looked very evil with it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Slightly intimidating. Clint. His name wasn't Clint, though. Learned to craft a furnace. There we go. Allows you to smelt metal bars. Used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Now I feel bad. What if somebody's name watching this is Clint? It is kind of a nice name. It sounds short for Clinton, though. I would struggle if that were my name. Now I'm feeling upset for all the Clints out there. You've smelted a few copper bars. Consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. I was. Did it look like I was stressing? Everybody in this town is trying to get me to help them make more money. That's all they want. They're wanting me to help their business. You know, I tried to get away from business, and now they're all trying to send me these deals. Hey, why don't you try my new ointment? Why don't you try my new... Per whatever it is. Whatever is the thing that they're trying to sell. Jesus Christ, look at how good this is. Okay, I'm going to put this away because Clint won't leave me alone. I might save one cauliflower in my inventory, though. 
Wow, a valuable cauliflower. That's great. You know, let's just keep that and we'll leave one potato in because of Ireland. I'm not Irish, but I'm, I'm ethnically Irish. Hey guys, I learned something cool. I think I said this before, but I learned that as an Irish person, I can metabolize dairy, which is great because I thought I had consumed like a lethal amount of dairy when I was a kid. And I thought it was going to come back to bite me later on. I mean, it probably will, but just maybe perhaps not as bad because of my Irish heritage. Probably it will, though. So I'm not going to get my hopes up. But hey, you can always hope. You can always hope. Oh, and alcohol, apparently. Yeah, basically all the things that they say you shouldn't eat, I can eat as... Like with my Northern European ancestry, I've learned... I went to PDXCon and I, I met a bunch of people from the countries of my origin. Um, who is it? Acebec, the Stellaris uh, YouTuber. Uh, he and I share a lot of ancestry. This was a fascinating conversation. I, I would love to play something with him. We'd, uh, had been, we'd been trying to get something together, though. I was just like all over the place last year. It's it's kind of nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna go talk about this for a minute. Um, as I do my farming. So, uh, I did actually put out a, a note for editors in the recent, uh, video. And it looks like I found some people. I, I found a lot of people and they're kind of auditioning right now. Um, kind of, like, they're all putting together one video. It's not like a, like a song and dance. It's like, kind of show me what you can do. I'm gonna give you some footage. And, like, we'll see. So I've got them all kind of trying out stuff right now. And, personally, I'm excited about it. I, I honestly didn't want to do this for years as a content creator because I had more of an aversion to like checking my email inbox because very much in the creative zone whenever I was making a video. Um, although over the last year I've found that like a, my process for making videos has kind of crystallized into a formula or like well, yeah obviously the formula has crystallized into a formula but into something that is more let's say predictable than I can really even have time to keep improving on which is sort of like you know, if you were, like, somebody with a business, it would be like, okay, I don't really have any time to be creative and strategize about it anymore. So I felt like I didn't have enough time to think about how to make the videos better after I was done making a video. Or, like, it would take me seven or eight days to make a video, and I didn't really learn anything anymore in that time frame. And I was just sort of like, uh, you know, I think I'd rather keep learning, because I like making projects of about this scope. Um, and that was the reason why I decided to just go after it. But yeah, anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, now I feel like I have less aversion to just, like, doing normal administrative tasks these days now. Like, for example, checking emails. It's weird, I had such an aversion to doing these things, I think, after, like, my entire career. And you guys know I had a traditional career before this. Um... If you would call teaching a traditional career. It's a lot of people time. I was a little bit tired of working with people all of the time and I wanted to learn a, a craft or something like that. But anyway, I feel like I've, I've kind of done that and I was ready for a little bit more of that. So I'm just having a lot more joy out of working with people now. So um, that is to say that this 100 days challenge, I think is something that I can spend a little bit more time on the doing and concepting of it. And then, like, you know, at the end of it, like, it can become something, uh, a little bit more well-edited, but also, like, something that I was prioritizing when I was looking at the editor's applications was I didn't want anything that was, like, way too flashy and over-the-top and effects and stuff like that. I wanted to go find people who had a better sense of, like, um, just holding a narrative. So you do need some technical ability, but for some of the games like Stardew Valley, it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, and I'm trying to give them, like, a variety of projects. And the thing that I'm excited about is it means we get to do more as a channel. Like, I, I felt like I'd been swapping between the same five or six games or so for a year. And that's all fine and well up to a certain extent, but I, I, I just felt like I wanted to keep doing some variety and, yeah, go from there. I, I'd say that the, the person who, like, kind of has the list of games that I really like doing is somebody like Call Me Kevin, um, who we've collabed a little bit, and, like, he's been kind of... Um, like an inspiration to me and just where to go from here. It's hard to figure out what to do once you like, 
once you're past the million mark on YouTube, it's like, okay, how do I keep doing this and keep kind of growing as a creative person, but like not just become kind of a one trick pony. You know what I mean? Like that's what I was kind of looking for over the last couple months. Anyway, so I'm like really thankful to have those people, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to give a status update on that. It seems like kind of a career changing thing, you know, like having people to help you. It means I get to just work on all kinds of new stuff that I've really wanted to for a while. And I, I think it's nice because a lot of the people that I, I want to work with are people who like want to start their own channels and stuff like that. And have openly said to me like, hey, I don't plan on doing this forever, but like some of them are really good too. And I'm like, okay, this person could help me in a way and I could help them. Um, oh, dang it. I didn't mean to sleep right there. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. The Italian sausage spicy. Thank you very much for the sub. Oh, in the three months on flightless rain. Thank you very much for the three months. Two trick pony is key. Yeah, Kevin has like, I, I think I, I picked Kevin because he's just been on YouTube for a very, very long time. He also seems like, I you know, having played with him once and just chatted with him a bit. He's like, he's very, uh, he's just in very good spirits, I would say. It seems to me, you know, like he is cultivated. I don't know if he would use that word. I'm going to use the word cultivated as much as possible now that we're playing Stardew Valley. I, I always liked Kevin's, like, uh, the games that he picked to play. So I had always kind of tried to figure that out. Because I will say this on YouTube, switching out to variety content is a real pain. Like, it's very hard to get an entire audience that knows you for one game to kind of be willing to watch something else. Um, uh, individually, a lot of people want to watch it, but it's like the kind of method that you have to go about. It's not really that difficult, but it is tricky. And it's, it's full of failure. So, um, I don't know, last year doing all the Sims stuff, I feel like was a big, big chance for us to just, like, I, the game, the channel really does reflect, I would say, 90% of my taste in gaming. And whatever isn't there is on the VOD channel, so now, I'm just really thankful, like, as a as a video creator that I, I I do truly feel joy in every game that I play. I'm never playing something that I like don't want to be playing or if there is something on the menu that I'm like, ah, I've been playing a lot of that. I can save it for like a month down the line and I'm like, oh, this is kind of a cool thing to do again. I want to do this because there were years there where it was like, uh, I don't really feel like playing Zomboid, but like it's just kind of the thing that works for me. And I've kind of burned myself out and back from that. Yeah, there were times in my uh, video creation career where I was just sort of like, uh, I'm just the Zomboid guy. And I still think that will always kind of be true to a certain extent with, as with people like Frankie on PC. But, um, and like Daisy, for example, that would be a, a quintessential example I would think of. Like, that's just what people know for him, naturally. Um, but at the same time, I'm also just like, I, I'm just a really happy boy. Like, I wake up and I feel genuinely happy now. I don't feel like I'm trying to make anything anymore. I just feel like... I just feel like I'm doing what I want to do. I, it's it's almost weird in life because you spend so much time worrying and, like... You know, trying to build something up and I just realized, like, Oh, wow! I got, finally got to the point where the goal is just to have fun. Like, have as much fun as you possibly can. And this is what they mean when do some they say do something that you like. But it's like people advising college students who are, you know, trying to earn a paycheck and stuff like that. And it's like, what do I do? And uh, I don't know, just kind of seeing what uh, some friends who have gone from like traditional careers into video creation have done. Yeah, like some of them are, uh, I don't know, people I'm working with right now. But it's good too, because I get to do like more collaborative projects as well. Um, I'd really wanted to do more multiplayer stuff too over the years. And whenever we got in those Zomboid sessions, it was like this rare opportunity, but I'm still kind of trying to formulate my whole multiplayer session because I did send out a multiplayer session to the editors. And like it was some pretty rough footage, but I also think um, it's something that we could work on and we could get something like really fun going because I, I really enjoyed those videos and doing those with friends. And I think um, I think there are ways to formulate it, like without just sending you know two hours of footage to an editor and just going here like making this into something interesting. Um, which is generally how I've learned. Like, I've figured it out. Making, like, group multiplayer videos has nothing to do with trying to be funny. It's all about just trying to, like, carry a story. 
Um, and then kind of like the humor comes on as you go, I guess. Yeah, it's just been fun. I've really enjoyed video editing. It's just that I did a lot of it. And now that I get to detach myself from it a bit, I'm like, I'm starting to enjoy it more again. It is. I don't know, like, I just feel so happy. It's, it's hard to describe. I'm like bragging. I'm happy bragging. Hi there. Mayor. I like those uh, overalls you got on. Or what do you... No, no, that's just suspenders. That's what I meant to say. What an eyesore. Why don't you do something? You're the mayor. Pelican Town Community Center. Or what's left of it, anyway. Oh, Pelican Town. Why do they call it Pelican Town? Do I have the town always bustling with activity? These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. This guy is way behind the times. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joji Corporation has been selling the lands so they can turn a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something. Isn't there like some kind of like uh, problematic individual living inside of the Pelican Town community hall, though? We have to oust him. I need you to kill him. <laughs> Suddenly, it turns into a bounty hunter game. Have used the videos to fall asleep. Hey, thank you, no game, Pat. Why don't you have any game, Pat? Uh, maybe the mayor is the problematic individual. Easing nature in here. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jass must have been playing in here. This is creepy. Even more dilapidated than I remember. Oh, look, a hallucination. The Joja Cola must be working its magic on me now. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you ill? Wait a minute. Why am I doing a non-scripted event? I did not authorize this. You saw something. Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Oh my gosh. I really need to go to a doctor. I might be dead in a few hours. I think I took a little bit too much of the Joja Cola. Are you worrying me? I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Why does it, the place unlock from now? You can maybe catch the rat if you have some extra time. Why is... Who is he reminding me of? Maybe it's like Jordan Peterson. He won't stop talking about a rat. Have you ever watched the Jordan Peterson clips where he's just like, The rat! <laughs> Uh, there we are. Here we go. Rat problem. Investigate the community. Right. Uh, there's too many. Uh, I'm always troubled by this when there's too many quests for me to do, and then I just feel upset and overwhelmed. I wanted to focus on the backpack. Let's do that. I live my own life. I don't live by an agenda. Could have been a gas leak. Okay, this back, very suspicious backpack for sale. 24 slots? Okay, is that all of the slots that are available? Oh my gosh, it's Zelda! Wow! 36 slots? That's basically Zelda. I love it when the backpack changes color and allows you to put more in it. Man, this is really making me want to play Zelda. Zelda had such a simple joy of how you would like... Oh, we haven't played Tears of the Kingdom. I wanted to play Tears of the Kingdom, but I just didn't have enough done in my own life in order to do it. Man, that really bothers me. If we don't do Zelda, I'm hoping we get to do Pikmin 4 when it comes out a little bit later on in this year. That was one of my priorities this year. I wanted to play more Nintendo releases, but uh, I didn't because why didn't I? I didn't have enough of my stuff together. I was going to do the Advance Wars reboot. Hopefully we'll do it at some point. I just, I have so much nostalgia for those games, you know? Grass starter recipe. Uh, so, okay, let me go ahead and ask you guys a question right here. Well, now I can do, uh, that is fair. I can't do everything that I want. There's still a few other genres of games that I, like, nobody's really interested in on my channel when I play them. Like, we played Kirby. It was just kind of a random Kirby game. Like, I should pick bigger releases a little bit there. Um, but yeah, Zelda, we, we still may have a chance to do Zelda. It might be like a month or two after release, but, you know. You try to do it when it comes out. Ooh, Skate 4? Skate 4? I would definitely play Skate 4. 
That's good. Okay, so question, question, question. Um, what kinds of tools can we use on the farm? Is it like, um, or can we leverage the, the tools more choice, greatly? Or husband -o. Wife of choice or husband. Oh, guys, I have to tell you a story. This question came up, like, who would I, like, I am heterosexual. I will start with that as a statement. Um, but it came up recently with a friend, like, if I weren't, who would I pick of my, the people around me? I said my physical therapist because he gives me a nice massage. And, you know, I like that. I like that. It feels good. It feels really good. Uh, you know, that kind of, like, sensual experience, it's akin to playing music with someone. But I think that this is getting a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit personal for, for a live stream. My wife of choice. Maybe that lady who, well, she's already married, so it would... Are you allowed to fornicate in the game? Is that, uh... Or is that frowned upon? <laughs> Stardew Valley. But I make everyone cheat. And I ruin everyone's life. Uh, Stardew Valley. Nothing says Stardew Valley like fornication. Let's go ahead and start mining out the rest of this farm now that we have been such a nice large backpack. Okay, anyway, the question that I wanted to ask was, um, is there any way that we can get better tools, like leverage out the tools that we have? Like some sort of pick that mines three rocks or something like that? Or how do we mine out the really large rock? Or do we need to level up? Is it just purely an RPG system? Or do we need to spend money too? Will money be our friend there? Also, too, I, I would like to check what happens if I survive until midnight. Uh, I may do some more fishing over here just to gain the experience. Hmm. Oh, we need the ore, the copper from the mine. Okay, this is sensible. And then we could use the furnace because then the blacksmith man will help us. Okay, this is sensible. Ooh, chain mail. I mean a newspaper. You ever go to a deli? Corner deli? I need a pair of chain. <laughs> you think they would just th think you were on drugs if you just went into the, <laughs> into the corner convenience store and you ask them for a pair of... a set of chain mail? Man. <laughs> just go in there. Perfectly well-dressed. Totally sober. Nothing wrong with you. I need some chain mail. <laughs> you just ruined the man's day working at the store. Dude, there's so many pairs of glasses. This is not common. What the hell? That's crazy. Pasta patty. Thank you very much for the sub. A driftwood. Wow. Not what I had expected. Is there anything useful that I can get from the pond? Because the pond seems to be pretty much useless compared with the sea, you know. The sea seems way better. Let's go there. The pond is... You can't get any... Oh, it's all junk? Oh, I wish I had known that in the first place. I wouldn't have wasted the last five minutes of my life. Jesus. Did um, Concerned Ape compose the music for this game, too? I wonder if he's a musician. I don't really care about the people because I'm on my Sigma Male grind set, you know? I'm not worried about what they think of me. I'm just here on my grind. Maybe some of them will come into my business endeavors. Later on, perhaps, I can relax, get to know them. Okay, here we go. I will just lay out the 300 logs of wood that seems really excessive. I don't even need tools. Look at me go. Oh, corral. Isn't that a SpongeBob line? Corral. Uh, what did we what did we get ourselves into over here? Just another dock. Damn it! Nothing good ever happens. It's always predictable and the same. Right, I'm just gonna go fishing. Stillness. Oh, the junk can be recycled. You mean by putting it into the box? Nemo. Nemo. Have you seen my son? 
Nemo, Nemo, have you seen my son? Son, have you seen my Nemo son? Nemo, Nemo is my. S Damn it! You know this is bringing you back to Diver Dave. Oh, guys, I got a story for you. Speaking of Diver Dave, I learned to make my own sushi recently. Oh, a chest of exciting. Did I at least get something from the chest? No! Jackass! Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Nemo-san. <laughs> if Finding Nemo were an anime. <laughs> Nemo-sama! <laughs> I actually probably beat Nemo-chan. <laughs> like using diminutives. Nandeska <laughs> Nemo? I that's my favorite thing to say. What is Japanese? I, I probably don't say it very well. It's an interesting language, the particle uh thing. Or just Nani Nandeska <laughs> Nemo chan What does that mean? What is it Nemo? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ah, this reminds me of when, back when I used to watch anime when I was sad. I went through a phase of watching anime when I was sad. I just watched a lot of dumb anime. Some of it is really good. Some of it is really good. Um, and some of it isn't really good. It's just very, like, popular. Though I, I do like... I liked it dub. I like the way they... Uh, I like when they would do dubstep in it. That is to say. No, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. This is trash. Okay, these are crap. This is also crap. Let's put the coral in there as well. See what happens. Nemo-sama. Now I'm all excited about this. 179. Cool. Okay, let's put those away. There's so many quotable lines, though. Okay, question, guys. Why do we need to check the weather? The weather is just going to be a thing. Doesn't it seem like kind of a waste of time to check the weather? What will be will be. I can't prepare the seeds tomorrow for their watering, right? Oh my gosh, look, my hoe proficiency is improving, and my watering can proficiency. The stone fence, the mayonnaise machine, of course, one of the most basic inventions of mankind, and a sprinkler. Oh, sprinkler, sprinkler, very exciting. An axe proficiency. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and get more of those cauliflower seeds. What I realized to myself as I did this, uh, you know, the backpack was honestly not the best move right there. Is there some weather that could just kill all my plants? Oh, if it rains, you can upgrade the watering can. Really? Wait a minute. Upgrading tools takes a few days. Planning your watering can upgrade. Oh... Thank you, Nemo-chan. This is information to me. Okay, that's good to know. I'm sorry I was a dingus. Um, what should I do now? It's just, like, you feel like you're wasting time. I feel like I'm slightly just torturing myself when I played this game because of the fear that I might not be doing the right things. And I, then I just throw myself at back-breaking labor, and I honestly think it was the wrong move. You know what I think would be a better use of time here? Now that we're on the eighth day. I could go into the mine at the back of the farm. Let's go ahead and check that out. I just wanted to clear that out for a second. Um, there is like a cave, cavern, whatever you call it, back here. And things to be had in here. I think that this is for growing mushrooms or something like that, right? I believe. Cave, fi cave fishing. Cave fishing. You zoom out a bit would help with the foraging. Oh, yeah, that is true, right? Might be a help. Yeah, I could do that. That's helpful. Thank you. Have I oppressively forced myself into the town folks' lives yet? Not yet, really. I'm still kind of doing my own thing. Grandpa's old cottage when we first met. Really a nice little house. Thank you. However, I might need some more space someday. Oh, no, this must be Tom Nook. God damn it. We found the Tom Nook of the Stardew Valley universe. Just a... Like a... Like a con man of epic proportions. Nintendo's own car salesman. 
Oh, dang, I just killed a young tree. I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to purchase a lot more cauliflower seeds. Okay, I'm thinking that the next thing it would be good to do would maybe be go to the mine, and then maybe get that furnace going. How? Yeah, let's get that furnace going. Um, let's go into crafting. Um, how did he say we would do that again? Okay, furnace, copper ore, and stone. So, yeah, we should probably go back in the mine. Go get some copper ore. That would be a good way to spend the day. I think we have nine or ten, I want to say. Um, let's go ahead and just leave that there. But... Uh, nope. Did I just totally get that wrong? No, we do have seven. That's not bad. Let's put away the stupid resources. There we go. All the stupid things are away. Now we'll go back into the mine. And, um... Yeah, we'll take the stone as well. We'll go back out to the mine today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bring any fruits or vegetables or anything like that. Maybe we'll go buy cauliflower seeds and then do the mine and then come back. That would be opportune for us. Why are we so zoomed in? Well, we just zoomed out. I could zoom in if you like. Get up closer. Oh my god, you could get really personal. No, I think I'd prefer to be more zoomed out. There we go. Good, that's all nice and stuff. I think I made the game a little bit small, but I kind of like it like this. Maybe in the next part I'll make it smaller. It's okay, actually this is a little bit better now. I like it up close and personal. I feel as though the game is simple enough. Is it bothering you that I'm not zoomed out? I'm sorry. I I should think more about that. Hmm. Okay. Maybe they've seen my son. Oh, the egg festival! Vincent's birthday. No one remembered my birthday. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> The first, like, intrusive thought that hits me. No one remembered my birthday. Six months <laughs> Why should I celebrate his birthday? You ever have those thoughts? Oh my god. I've stopped feeling so oppressed by them now and more just entertained by them. Uh, but I live with them and they're still in me. Uh, Duke Merle and the Drizzle, thank you very much for the sub. And Spartan, thank you very much for the sub appreciate that. Thank you. No one subbed to my channel! Do you guys have that issue? Well, I, I lied. I did tell you it was my birthday. I didn't make a big conniption of it. Oh, look! 22 months, bro. A traveler. Are you going to get serious and propose? Hey, ballistic meat. Thank you very much for the 22 months, man. Honestly, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna avoid that question. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, right, th honestly, this man is living a good life. Ooh, look, a totem. No, it's not a totem. I don't know what it is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, God damn it! I forgot that it's so somehow become a meme. I don't know if this is specific to my channel or is this just specific to Twitch in general. People like to say that it's the streamer's birthday. This is f basically fake news, is what it amounts to. Uh, it's not my birthday. It's n I've never even had a birthday because I was born between two days. I emerged from the womb, um, dually, dually, and um, I have birthdays. So I just like to Happy celebrate birthday. every day. Thank you. It's not my birthday. It's never been. I don't even have one. I have... Technically, that's true. I don't have one. Do you think that it's got to happen to at least, like, a small percentage of people that they were born between 1159 and 12, like the head emerged? How do they pick which day? Who picks? Is it the mother? Is it the doctor? Is it the start? Is there an end? Is there any logical explanation for that? Do they just get to take a vote of whoever's in the room? Birthday. I mean, it would be like more of a birth night, really. Again, with the intrusive thoughts. Here they come. Here they come again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go ahead and put, um, let's just go re rearrange our inventory bar here. There we go. Wow, I'm not farming any. Or even just, and they call it a mine. I, I rarely find myself fishing. 
Fighting, fishing, there we go. So I can switch back and forth really quickly. Look, I like to use the scroll wheel. I'm not a real MLG Fortnite gamer. Sorry. Do you guys remember playing Fortnite? Fortnite was so much fun. I'm sad that people won't be able to play like Fortnite back as it was when it was in vogue one day because it's just an MMO. I mean, it's not an MMO, it's a battle royale, but you know what I mean. Fortnite was a good game. It, it still probably is. If it hadn't had all the hype it did, it would have been way better. We, like, we tried to get some juicy dubs. Me and the boys, you know, me and all my friends. I liked Fortnite, it was a good game. You know, I'm reminiscent on that. I think that's how I spent a lot of my summer in 2018, playing Fortnite. It was it was good. It's a good game. I mean, it was good, and then they're, they had to keep like reinventing everything. How do you possibly keep everyone interested in such a large game? Basically, the entire world was playing it, though. That's rare. That's crazy. I can't think of any other game that was quite like that up till its time. Um, maybe like Halo? But I don't even think Halo had quite the same mass appeal as Fortnite. Fortnite? Fortnite was actually the best game ever made? Not a lot of people know it. Oh my god, I'm... Wait a minute, I'm going to faint in the mine. This is bad. Leave the mine, yes. Okay, take me out of here. What happens if I'm this exhausted? Is there any deliverance from any of this? Or am I just stru stuck? Having a slow, sad boy walk back home. They have Minecraft cereal! Oh, you pass out and lose your items! That would be horrible. That might actually kill the entire run. Uh, do I lose energy from just walking around? Do I need to go... Oh, Jesus. I wish I had known that before. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you lose one item. It's worth it. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, this is the law, uh, log lady. Jesus Christ. I look like I've just seen some shit. <laughs> look at my eyeballs. I could eat a rock, to be fair. Do you think that if Dwayne the Rock Johnson ate a rock he would be considered a cannibal. Think about that. As I make my way, making my way down stairs, starving to death, exhausted and tired, and I'm homebound. Oh, I forgot that I'm sweating. I was trying to fish for a fish so that I could get home. One would think that it would take more energy to fish than to just go home. But this wasn't really a strategy. My god, I gotta remember to never do this again. This is I've remembered to not do this. Every game has its own like horrible thing. This is som somewhat akin to forgetting to use the Flash HM in Pokemon and navigating the entire dark tunnel. I actually did that when I was a kid because I didn't know where to find the Flash HM, but I knew where to find the tunnel. And this was bad because I... I was just stupid when I was a kid. Like, I was really dumb. Oh, no. You're not even selling anything? Dingus. Run and not lose stamina? No, I unfortunately can't. This is as fast as I'm capable of going. Oh, the daffodil. I wish I had seen that before. What about this thing? Can I pick this up? Please. Help me get home. Oh, teaching machine. W w HM stood for hidden machine, I believe. TMs and HMs. Yes, HM flash. That used to be back when you could never get rid of the HM. Once you burned it into your Pokemon. It was kind of like tattooing your Pokemon with some sort of brand, you know? Like, it had this kind of violent sense about it. I'm going to make you learn surf, and you're going to like it. You know? Oh, wait a minute. Zero energy. What the hell? 
Let's see what it does. Not going to kill my energy, though. I will eat the daffodil. And it did nothing. As expected. I don't even know why they gave me the option in the first place. Yes, Rock Smash was a TM. Why did, why did they have that idea? It's just upsetting. Let's sell the seeds. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Can you just hold it down? Yeah, you can just hold it down. That's good. Okay, I'm going home with my rocks. I didn't even find enough copper that I needed. It's okay. We're going to end up going back to the mine. And they'll call it a mine. Here we go. Let me bring my sword to bed. Don't mind me. Just sleeping sword in hand. I sleep commando. I don't even know really what I mean by that. Ooh, look at how pretty it is. Wow. That's beautiful. I think that's beautiful for one. Let's go ahead and see if we can get um, some of these tool upgrades. We'll go back to the mine and get some copper as soon as we've watered these things. I think now that we've got the, um, I think that now that we've got the cauliflower going, this is a pretty decent place to start. We could sell back all of the rocks. We should probably start you know, going through resources at a faster clip, to be totally honest. Why don't I have my... Oh, this is very sad for me. I'm learning this now. So you don't get back your full energy for the day if you don't get a full night's sleep. That is an unfortunate. Okay, um, this is news, so I didn't know that. Cool. Huh. Um... I, I could get better at the mining and stuff. The life of the farm. Yeah, that is kind of real. I like that. That makes it feel more like a simulation and less like a game. And you know I like that. Introductions. We have to meet everybody? I... I don't want to meet everybody. That would be kind of annoying to the people in town. Not everybody wants to meet me. Let's see how my luck is today. Though my energy is so horrible, it's probably not even going to be worth it. I don't think it's worth it to buy food at this point. We just want to keep spending money on cauliflower, so let's, uh... I don't know, I'm thinking let's, like... Let's just go back to our old grindy task for a minute. For a, maybe a day. And then tomorrow, when we recover enough energy, then we can go back and get enough copper to get the tools. What do you say to that? What do you say, kids? Oh, I'm leading this discussion. Um, here we go. Let's go for the rocks. Ah, it's just so confusing. What do I even go for? No, let's go for the grass. That's a pretty good way to start. Grass is easy to clear. I want to get the rest of this land cleared. I don't really know why. It just gives me peace of mind. I enjoy destroying the environment, even though that I think it looks beautiful. Barry, Barry Macock. Barry Macock inner. Thank you very much for the sub. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> Nazura, thank you very much for the sub. And Tachyon Railgun, thank you very much for the sub. Apologies, that took me a while. What do I think of the new farmer? When YouTubers... Well, you know, I was thinking of doing this myself, because I was like, I'd... Well, back in reference to my, my struggles as a YouTuber. Yeah, no, I think that is common thing, though, in 2023. A lot of my friends are, uh... A lot of the people I first met when I moved to the town I'm at were like software engineers. People who need to get out more, you know? <laughs> like, hey, I see that you're out today. So am I. Let's be out. Together. And that was sort of what we had in common. It was good. It was good friendships, though. It was good friendships. Uh, they don't last very long, but, you know, they are productive and you, you do some stuff. But anyway, that is to say, I was thinking of, like, what else can I do? So I was thinking of buying a... I was thinking of buying a bike. I haven't been cycling in a while. Back where, I, back where I'm from, you could kind of... You couldn't really, like, bike and go on an adventure. But now where I'm at, I'm like, ooh, you could go on an adventure if you went biking. This is exciting. Like, you don't just... It's not just, like, biking down the street. Um... This is, will come across as somewhat, like, culturally ignorant to everyone, but I had never lived in, uh, anywhere outside of, like, extremely urbanized, um, terrain until I, like, until I moved a couple of years ago. And so, at first, when a lot of my friends who were originally from the south in the U.S. were just like, uh, like, Rob hasn't been to a, <laughs> he hasn't been 
to a lake before. Like, I had been to other features, like coastal things, like the ocean. But a lake was something of all new, like, opportunities and excitement and interest. And I, I don't know. There's, like, a whole set of things you can do when you have, uh, like, more added. You know, you know what I mean? Like, when it's not all urbanized. Yeah. Anyways, I, I, I really enjoy the, the place I'm at right now. However, that being said, like, um, if I were to go over to Europe, I think I would want to live in, like, Spain, based on what I hear from other people. It just sounds like an interesting place. Spain. I'd like to visit someday. Never been there. Hmm. Here we go. Cool. Oh, I might be going to Germany. I've never been to Germany either. I've been only to Stockholm for uh, PDXCon. We did... It's weird. I'm like, I'm not a very adventurous person. Uh, I, d I do like to travel, but I can never escape the gnawing feeling that I'm supposed to be doing something else and like kind of losing track of everything else in life when I travel. So I try to travel like when it's related to YouTube stuff. So I might end up, uh, I might end up at Gamescom this year. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I gotta figure out, like, what's gonna happen, if it's gonna be feasible, and, like, do some planning for it. But, uh, if I do, I I'll let you guys know so that if I'm there, um, you can kinda know who to look out for without me entirely revealing my entire identity. I did this partially for PDXCon, and I met a couple of people last year. Um, but I don't know what's happening with that this year. Um, I would guess... I guess if they're... I don't think they've announced it. I think it's mostly just going on to, like, the other releases. But I don't really know what's going on. Um, but yeah, Gamescom looks like it might be a thing. Um, so it would be a fun fun trip anyway. But like I was saying, yeah, like, I never really get to go on big adventures. And I had never even been to... Uh, I'd never been out of the U.S. until, like, last year. But it was really exciting. Um, I just... I don't know. Another thing I'm really grateful to be YouTubing for. I'm like, I got to go on this crazy adventure that nobody gets to go on. And it's weird because I have a bunch of friends who are like more adventurous than me and I was like, oh, I got to, <laughs> I just felt so bad. I felt like such an unadventurous person and like just boring. But then when I got to do that, I was like, oh, this is really cool. I don't know, I'm just grateful that I like uh, got to work with them for that. So that was nice. Here we go, go to sleep for the night. Plus it's also kind of fun because a lot of you guys who watch are from like not the US. Um, and I don't know, just based on what I was hearing about Germany, like, especially northern Germany, and like, I don't know, it just seems like a really cool place to visit, like, people with, uh, kind of more outdoorsy stuff, kind of like living out in west in the United States. In the United States! Work is just, yeah, it's always fun when you get to travel for work. A couple of my friends do stuff like that. Kansas. A couple of people I know from Kansas. Hmm. Bike, good. Yes, yeah, so I got the Acro bike. I was thinking of I had to get either the Acro bike or what is the other bike? What were the bikes in Pokemon? I want to remember. What was it? Now, the one thing that I think can be a little bit trickier if you're in the U.S. is the U.S. is about the same size as Europe. Uh, that's really rough. I, I mean, you know, it's not. It's not the same size as Europe. But, um... Wait a minute, am I going over the bridge to... Didn't really update my location. Whoops, I gotta go back. Um... You now, traveling the U.S., I suppose, is somewhat akin to traveling from country to country in Europe. Although you don't really get the same kind of, like, cultural change quite to the same extent. Which is, I think, one reason... I'm very like self-conscious of the of the image of the kind of like um, of the ugly American when I am traveling now, uh, and in, in our own defense, I would say that that might be a reason why it's more difficult to travel. Although we do have Canada and Mexico, and I hadn't been to Canada and Mexico before that, so that is. Um, there's oh look a frog leaping into the river. It's cool, though, that you don't have to, like, have a passport to go everywhere, though, too. That is quite nice about the U.S. Hmm. Where am I going now? Why am I doing this? I think I just need to go back up the other way. Do I look American? Sometimes people will comment on my videos and tell me that they liked my British accent. I don't know where this comes from. I think it's because I'm, like, more erudite than the average streamer. And I use words like erudite. 
Uh, now you have to look that up. But yeah, I, I think that's where that comes from. People thought that I was British for a while. Or like, just there would be a random comment. Oh, I love your British voice. Wow. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What? <laughs> Not even British. No, the British, like, oppressed my ancestors. Ah, uh, dang it. Why did you have to bring back bad memories? <laughs> oh, God. Of course I'm, of course I'm just being facetious. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, they did. They did. <laughs> they probably did for many of the, uh, all of us. And we have fond memories of it. <laughs> oh my god. I think we, we got into this the last time we did a multiplayer session. <laughs> Jesus. I'm French, yes. I'm, uh, probably, oh, I'm not French, though. I don't have any French in me. Nah, it's all like... Dutch and what am I Dutch I'm Dutch Swedish Irish and German but mainly Irish and then mainly German after that only a little bit of the Swedish and the Dutch but yeah it was fun I got to meet like people from my homelands like when I went there not really my homelands I mean I'm what is this quartz oh my gosh that's where quarters come from guys did you know that I think we need to get more copper. That would be advantageous for our fellowship. So let's go back and do some of that. And we'll also just get some combat experience as well. We don't really have any of that. That is not particularly good. Oh, we can swing way more rapidly than I thought. Yeah, mainly just Irish and German, I suppose. Somebody in my family spit in a tube. That's part of being American is you don't know where you're from. You don't know what you're like. You don't really know your ancestry. People move around a lot. Well, I guess that happens in other places too, but it, it's always a conversation when over, you're over here in the US. Gathering minerals. Miner they're minerals, Marie. <laughs> Rocks will never be the same ever since Breaking Bad. Uh, they'll always be minerals. The rocks and the copper-colored points have the best chance of dropping copper or more copper. Oh, thank you. I was kind of wondering about that. Like, how come the rocks that look like copper don't always drop copper? But that makes sense if it's the ones that look like copper that have the best chance of it. Okay, so then so I suppose it's these ones. Or these ones, or these ones. Yeah, so those ones dropped stone. And I don't want to get myself completely, you know, uh, out of energy. But look at me go. There's no copper, and I'm sad now. I guess these ones are these ones guaranteed to have copper or something. Okay, that was a play. Uh, I am running out of HP here. I don't want to get it. I don't want to get too low on energy though. Oh Jesus Christ! Can it lower my energy by doing that? Can you die in this game? Died. Game over. It seems. It seemed like it was all merriment until the protagonist died. Oh my, Wamu. How do you say that? You are dead already. Yeah, back to the anime discussion. It wouldn't be a complete Stardew Valley video without a discussion of the anime underpinnings of it. Let's see if we can use our tools. Yeah, we can use our tools to fight them. Right, so that's good to know that I'm not totally screwed if I forget my tools. Slime. You guys ever play the Dragon Quest games with the uh, with the slimes in them? I really like those games. They're like an odd place of nostalgia for me. Gotta remember not to run out of energy again. Let me just get out of here before I forget. Otherwise, I'm just gonna start carrying on again. I really like getting lost in thought and playing Stardew. It's a very meditative game, you know? It seems you can't go back up to earlier levels when you exit. Is that true? It would seem. Oh, you become poor. Yes, that would be. <laughs> that would be worse than dead. Oh, no. In some regards, legitimately more difficult depending upon how. Are you like negative poor? Like negative poor? That'd be hard. You can be worse than poor you know, in this world. You can be in debt. And that is 
unacceptable. You guys ever get a credit card company call you and try to sell you a credit card? And then when you told them that you've never had credit card, they just hung up the phone right away? Because that happened to me uh, a couple of years ago. There was just a guy who called and he sounded all suspicious. Which is what you know, you know, they're trying to get something. Like, they're really suspicious when they're doing that. So anyway, um, he was like, hey, like, I'm going to sell you credit card, <laughs> something like that. I was like, I've never had credit card. Immediately hung up the phone. Immediately. I was so surprised. I felt like, like I wasn't hot enough that he didn't like me or something like that, you know? Like, why didn't he love me, you know? Why wasn't he still trying to sell me the card? Yeah, I felt insulted. Wait a minute. What is going on in here? Have I, like, caused a nuclear meltdown? Am I going to play Seven Days to Die? We played Seven Days to Die a while back. It could have been a scam. That's fair. I've gotten... You guys know that I fall for a lot of scams, unfortunately. Uh, the days of falling for the scams are over, though. No, I was able to spot several... What did I get a scam for the other day? Uh, it was going to be three, but as it turns out, it was actually two scams that I've fallen for throughout the course of my life. Though I don't want to bring them back, because the last time I brought them, one of them up, people wouldn't let me forget about it for like five months. And probably people still remember it. And now it's haunting me again. Hang on a moment. Okay, we can plant more seeds. There, are there any scams in this game that we need to be on the lookout for? Like a nice Tom Nook kind of... I'm not just talking like Tom... Tom Nook was a scammer. Tom Nook, you bastard. I'm going to eat the parsnip. Good. I have been healed. Eat the parsnip, and your soul shall be healed. Hmm. Put away all of this stuff. Okay, we have copper bars. So how do we start upgrading our tools now? We're on day 10 now. Yeah, yeah, we are. Sleeping is a scam. Fair. Don't buy from JoJo. That one I did know. Am I running with, uh, without mods? This is the first playthrough, so we're going in through vanilla. Um, hmm. 5.50 p.m. Okay, we've exhausted much of the day. I'm feeling good. Feeling great, honestly. Feeling great. Yeah, guys, I, I've never felt this happy about life. It's weird. It's like, uh, you, you always feel like when you start feeling happy that you kind of, you feel like you're supposed to go back to your steady state of feeling slightly uncomfortable. So it's weird. I've had a, a few months where I've just started to like try to find various things that are wrong and be afraid of them. And that makes me feel oddly more comfortable, you know? I think you just make things up to be upset about when you feel good. And that's unfortunate because... The idea is that you were trying to find a state of peace, but you can never find it, ironically. And you realize that agitation and survival is sort of like the... Kind of like the default operating system of the mind, you know? Life is just a big computer simulation, after all. Hmm. Here we go. Joja is effectively vulnerable when I feel happy. You feel vulnerable when you feel happy? Hmm. Kind of interesting. Yeah, like, you're susceptible, you know? Like, maybe something bad will happen, and then if I remain happy, then it was a... I was lulled into a false sense of security for being happy. It was not yet time to be happy. You might spend your whole life being uncomfortable, though. That might do some damage. Well, it is bad if you feel happy and then you get taken off guard. I'll say that. That's fair. That's fair. Hmm. Okay, so how do we go about upgrading these tools now? Let's go ahead back into our crafting. So we've got the furnace. Turns ore and coal into metal bars. So now we've got the metal bars. So how do we go ahead and upgrade these tools? We've got the pickaxe, normal boy. But are we able to get it into, like, copper and stuff like that? And maybe get a little bit better results from those? Oh, Clint upgrades them. Okay, let's go ahead and bring all of our other items to Clint. Thank you for that. Uh, let's go ahead back to the seeds. My god, it's been raining for days. I still think that we're going to be best off selling the crops, I guess. But let's go here. And that's good. Okay, so what else do we bring to Clint? Um, 
money and five bars of what you're upgrading to. Okay, so he'll need that. And we'll probably... So we won't get the tool for a couple of days. I think we should upgrade... Oh, what is actually a useful thing to upgrade then? What is the most useful tool to upgrade? Yeah. It is raining today. Let's also see if it's raining tomorrow. The axe is good. Hmm. Okay, I, I actually, that would be quite fair, the axe. Ooh, Agricola is a great game. Agricola is an amazing game. I love Agricola. The board game. I was actually trying to create a board game based on Agricola and Carcassonne recently. And then I gave up because I have low uh, self-esteem. I probably don't have the money for this man, though. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, the owls are out. Oh, dang. There we go. Hang on a second. Put that over there. Cool. And good. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to have the money, so I think we should just wait for the... What is it? The, the crops to grow. Otherwise, we could go fishing. That might be worth it, because right now, look, I'm spending all this time on the axe. Yeah, if we had an upgraded axe, we wouldn't have to use up so much of our energy. Let's do that. Let's go fishing out in Willie's land. And then we'll come back here, and at the end of the day, we'll have a lot of fish to sell. We'll have more money, and then hopefully that will help us upgrade tools, since the crops just aren't growing fast enough here. Lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return to ASAP. I'm having a hard time without it. There's 250. Man, Robin really has a lot of issues. Why does she keep asking for favors? Horribly depressing game, 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah, you're right. I've had 69 coins for this whole time. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. That is kind of funny. That is funny. Oh, what was I saying before? What was I saying before? Yeah, I. it's strange. I haven't felt this happy in life in a long time. I'm uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. It's good, though, because I've. I felt like I was kind of... Uh, one thing I'll say about YouTube, I love YouTube, it's it's made my life a lot, uh, a lot better. Um, but the way that it works and the thing that I find a lot of content creators get stuck on, and I myself get stuck on, is when your channel is doing well, you feel like you have to work harder at it. And when it's not doing well, you feel like you have to catch up with whatever you're doing because YouTube is kind of like a very momentum-based platform, which is one of the reasons why I started the VOD channel. Just to kind of, like, give myself something entirely different to do. And, uh, like, now I feel like this year the notion of try has disappeared from my vocabulary. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm just focusing more on fun. But, and I, th I think that's making me happier. Because I did have a couple of years there where I was, like, really just pushing out projects. I was good. It made sense. I liked it. I didn't not like it liked it the whole time. Nope. But I sometimes think I was going a little bit faster than I should have. Here we go. Nemo. Nemo. I have found Nemo. 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 Yeah, this is kind of a tricky fishing game. Wait, it was totally on the fish! Don't let it escape. All right, this better be a good fish. The best fish. Herring. Oh, 100 games or 100 real... No, I would never... Real days of Stardew Valley. Maybe I would do it if I played it for like 10 minutes a day. We'll do 10... 100 in... Even 100 in-game days is like 30 hours worth of gameplay. I, I do think that this challenge is a little bit... Oh, God! It's a it's a big challenge. This fish keeps faking me out. It's like juking. This fish could be in the NFL. There we go. Halibut. Hopefully that's worthwhile, right? 10.40 a.m. Hmm. What was I saying before? Seems like a fake catch. There's nothing fake about this catch here. I don't know why you would say that. All I get are real fish. Get it? Real? <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. Uh, there's always such an opportunity for a punt. You could go for days. 
I, I wonder what happens as you get better at this. Does the mini game become easier? Perfect. Ooh, new record. Oh, that's with the length of the fish. More fish meat. I want to say, was there another game? I think it was Curse of the Lamb. Or no, Cult of the Lamb that we played last year. What was that with the fishing minigame? You know, that game was like a shot in the pan. That game was so exciting and then, like, I haven't seen it in a while. That always makes me a little bit sad. Dwarf Fortress was, I would say, the other big one like that. Like, Dwarf Fortress, I was hoping that it would kind of, like, last in the hype a little bit longer. Um, it, it unfortunately didn't really last as long as I wanted it to. Yeah, fishing is pretty good here. You guys were right. All right, can we get a better fishing rod? Hang on a moment. A bamboo pole. Yeah, how would we upgrade our fishing rod? D Fisher double bed. Wow. Oh, on launch to do the Twitch integration bork. I, I think there's probably... Aren't there... An, yeah, I do remember what you're talking about, though. Yeah, that did bork. Didn't it? Oh, did it? Maybe I just haven't checked on the game. Maybe I haven't in a while. Shame on me. Anyway, it makes me sad, though. What, well, it was, in particular, it was Dwarf Fortress. Like, in December, people were insane about Dwarf Fortress. But then about a month later, or maybe two months later, it's a little bit, like, less in vogue. I personally was excited because I really want to go back to playing some colony games like that. We're going to be doing some, uh, we're going to be doing some RimWorld again. I've decided. We're going to be doing some Dwarf Fortress. And, yeah. Uh, you know, like, going back to what I was saying before, with... With editors, it just allows me to do more variety in projects. Like, I can go back to a lot of the old stuff that I used to enjoy doing. And, um... And also experiment with new stuff, like Stardew Valley. I'm just like, we never played this game. This is a totally new... Uh, totally new thing. I haven't even done it. And just, like, there's a bunch of other stuff in this vein. A bunch of cult hits. Games like Fable I had always wanted to play on the channel, but, like, I never really had a chance to take a big risk. Stuff like that. Hey, what's up? Oh, Jesus Christ, what is that? It's crazy. Rabaz, what's up? How are you doing over there? We were just talking about Sweden a few minutes ago. Thank you very much for the raid, dude. Hang on a second, let me just give you a quick shout out. Uh, what were the odds of like me raiding you and then you raiding me in one day? It's almost like we both booped our, each other's snoot at the same time, causing a supernova and a rift in the void. Sweden has the world's best pizza. Uh, yeah, you were, you were saying something about Sweden back when we were hanging out. Back when we were hanging out with you. Look at you playing, uh, what were we playing, Star Sector before? Now you're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Man, that was such a good game. I wish I had played more of it. What was the name of the protagonist in that game? Anyway, thanks for sending your people over here. I hope you guys had a good stream. We're just relaxing with this phallic mini-game about a gentleman who uh, is a seaman, and he has a rod, and he's moist. And um, he's... Uh, it's, uh, it smells like fish, and... Um, uh, Willie is the gentleman we're selling all of the fish to, but there's a lot of fish in the sea, and he is arousing me. I'm just kidding. That would never happen. I've, this is PG, of course. PG. Clam. This is nice. Uh, we should get the blacksmith, though, now. Maybe we have enough money. Do we have enough money yet? We don't have the copper bars. Let's go to the Mr. Blacksmith. Although we do have the geodes. Maybe he can tell us the price of the tools. Will you tell me the price of the tools, Smith? Yes. Nothing like a seaman pulling out his rod at the docks. Shop upgrade. Okay, upgrading tools. Oh, this would cost 2000 Dude, we're going to need a lot more cauliflower. What I want to do, though, is leverage the cauliflower. Hang on a second. Where do I put these? Oh, Jesus. He just took it right out of my hands. 25 per geode. Oh, that's quite cool. Look, we got all of that copper. We don't have to get any more goddamn copper. I hate that. 
I mean, I didn't hate it, but a little bit I did. It took a while. Sandstone. Look at him go. Why is he charging me so much money just to... This man is a master capitalist. Wait, is this the Clint figure that we saw before, or is this a new individual? A new challenger approaches. Not honestly sure. Um, okay, let's head back. Whoops. I did enough today, I think. I think I could go back and just buy more cauliflower seeds. You know, I think that this game is entirely about the cultivation of cauliflower and other um, cruciferous vegetables, I believe you call them. Cauliflower is really healthy for you. Here I am. I've been on a food kick. all Like a health kick and a food kick. So I, I won't shut up about it. I learned to make uh, zucchini muffins the other day. It was great. I find I do that a lot more. Now I, I work with my hands. Now that I've been YouTubing more. It, it just relaxes me somehow. I got into like baking recently. Um, what was I trying to do? Odd, yeah. Like, just the... C it's it's kind of opened up a whole new world of hobbies to me. It's weird. Any type of thing that feels like Hello, a system Mr. or, like, Amphibian. creative too much. Sometimes I can't do it as much anymore, though. But what I found is that I can't do it unless if I'm doing it with other people. So it's good. I just... I figured out that one of my friends is, like, into guitar. And we were, like, uh, going back on that. I really enjoy playing the guitar and piano. Like, I... It's part of the reason why I have so much music in these videos. I was really into that stuff when I was in school. I wanted to do more with it, but I didn't. Because I'm a dingus. There we go. More cauliflower in the world. Nothing like it. Hey, Mr. J Dr. Professor Daddy. <laughs> that is a good name. I, I like that. That's creative. Well, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. Chocolate zucchini cake? What the hell? they little flower muffins. <laughs> I guess you could make that, right? You just don't put the ingredient in. <laughs> flower, literally F-L-O-U-R. In case if you c no one else can see it the way I see it in replay. Not F-L-O-W-E-R. Oh, what was that? It was like the earth belched. That was troubling and problematic. Yes, you're right. The rocks won't really return, will they? There's not enough time for tectonic plate shift to occur. Have I ever tried flower muffins? Y honestly, you're probably right. I shouldn't knock them until I try them. Do you just mean like a plain muffin muffin? That was weird. I, I was digging around. And speaking of like household things that you could do, I guess that is somewhat relevant to Stardew Valley. Uh, I had my mom give me all of her recipes. I visited, uh, visited my family uh, back in... It's been a little while. I visited it around Christmas. And, um... Yeah, I, got, I just ripped every single recipe from the house. Because if I ever get, like, nostalgic... Because uh, they're kind of far away. And I, I make just, like, a couple trips a year. But I do a lot of baking. And my grandmother was very into baking. And she had, like, all these recipes. But they're all, like... It's like, put a pound of, like, lard into the pan, and I'm like, oh, Jesus. So apparently, you can replace some of this stuff with, like, sour cream you can replace with Greek yogurt, and it's a little bit better. But yeah, you can enjoy delicious blueberry cake and stuff like that without uh, slowly killing your body. That's good. Like I said, I'm on a health kick. Guys, you're going to learn all new things about health without even, uh, without even really intending it. You're going to be on a new health kick by the end of this AA stream. This is part of the theme of the AA streams. We're going to stop drinking alcohol. You're going to get healthy. Every every one of my streams is like a... It's like a Richard Simmons workout video, you know? Mm. Go away feeling motivated. Watch another one. A broken CD. I guess we could sell that. Probably not very useful. The sap. I called the seaweed. Eh. 8.40 p.m. I want to give myself time to recharge, though. Oh, donation to the museum. Cool. Okay, let's save some of these things to donate to the museum. That'd be nice. Gunther. Gunther. The same name. Oh, there's actually distinct names. In, what is that, German? 
going on a health tangent while I savor this root beer float. Root beer float? Uh, no, I'm not. You should enjoy the good things in life, you know. Oh, yes. Fishing rod proficiency. Pickaxe proficiency. Now staircase. Jesus Christ. Uh, I have ascended by learning so much about the pickaxe. Now I can do all kinds of things. We got a leverage, though. It's exponential the amount of money we could make if we did cauliflower, you know? I'm I'm farming for money. <laughs> oh, it's Marnie. Oh, she's... You see this cat here? Do you wish it were a dog or remaining a cat? I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. Can you get both? Hmm, teddy grams are also good. Uh, chocolate teddy grams. I think this farm could use a good cat. Yes, I'll have a cat. Uh, what should we name the cat? I'm thinking, uh, Rod. There we go. <laughs> That's Rod the cat. We'll just go with the Willy the Fisherman theme. Hey, Rod. <laughs> and I'll name my dog Pole. <laughs> Imagine have guests over. <laughs> what is wrong with me? 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Egg festival in the town square. Why are you send me? Oh, annual egg hunt. What the hell? An egg hunt? Jesus, this is going to be a lot of fun. I love this. Oh my gosh. Every moment of my life is just gaiety and merriment now. I love life. There's an egg hunt in the middle of the town and I'm going to attend. Wow. Very exciting. There's, well, there is fighting involved in Stardew Valley, but it's one of the few games that doesn't rely entirely on fighting. And if you ever go through your games collection, it is surprising how many games are about fighting, conflict, and, like, death. I did this a while back. Almost every game I owned involved fighting somehow. It's surprising. I mean, it's compelling as a game concept. Very nice way to overcome adversity. But, at the same time... We could turn our swords into plowshares. In the words of, uh, loosely, Michael Jackson. Because Michael Jackson knew so much about farming, of course. I'm not going there today. Um, let's go to the... Let's go to the river and get some more water out. Oh my god. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, there's a whole world of wood down here. A whole world of wood. Now, am I supposed to be in the town square by nine, or you think they'll take me late? I guess that they'll allow that. Turn on the tool hitbox. How do I turn on the tool hitbox? Oh, is that with space? Okay, that's, oh, that is somewhat helpful. Is that shift when I do that? Yeah, that's helpful. Thank you. Mm, like if I do that? Or is there a way to actually turn it on so that it's on all the time? Is it a toggle? Hmm. In the settings. Ah, thank you. That would be nice. Yeah, I would like that. Um, actually, I like the idea, although I am going to use this footage for the main video, and I kind of like it to look... I think it's a good idea for gameplay purposes, so thank you. Um, I, I would like to see what it looks like. I'm going to decide if I want to... What does this look like? The main reason I wouldn't use it, possibly, would be because... Um... I kind of like, you. I, when I film stuff on YouTube, I like it to look just a little bit more cinematic. So if I have too many gameplay elements, it looks like slightly less cinematic. And since I'm going to probably end up using a lot of this footage for like the main video, uh, I do like to preserve a lot of it. But thank you, that's a good idea. I should probably do that, but I uh, won't because I'm very needy. I like, it was a good idea though, thank you, and now I know more. Uh, actually, what else is over there? Auto run, show portraits. Oh, you don't always have to run? Oh, look at me go! I don't have to run! I didn't even realize I was running there. Show portraits, show merchant portraits. Hide tool hit location when moving. Interesting. 
item stowing off. What is this? Slingshot. There's a slingshot. Very cool. Man, this game is so beautiful. Really amazing. Oh, uh... I should probably change my graphics setting. I might change the graphics up a little bit before the next time. And it is 9.50. I have already almost missed the entirety of the egg festival. What if they've already hatched? Show up sometime between the beginning of the and the end of the event. Thank you. Now, I never realized this. Uh, a friend of mine lives on a farm. And I visited his home and I was like spending time with the chickens and the ducks. Ducks are some of the most organized animals. Like, they function as a team. They're like a squad. They're like the military ducks. Like a flock of baby ducks. But chickens are just all over the place. They have no idea what they're doing, and it's it's honestly a bit bizarre. Wait a minute, isn't this the town square? Isn't this, like, the day? Or is it tomorrow? No, this is totally the day. I've already missed it. Oh, it starts tomorrow. Damn. Wait, who puts Saturday on that part of the calendar? That must have been why I thought, because I thought that this was Saturday. This is, this is unacceptable. <sighs> I dislike this. Hey. Give me more of these goddamn cauliflower seeds. <laughs> I'm like, you got any more cauliflower seeds? I need them. Hmm. Chickens will also eat each other. Yeah, these baby chickens. The chicks, they were... They were causing a lot of issues. Apparently, the roosters are just vicious to the hens. It's like... It's borderline misogyny, what they do. <laughs> like, it's... I hadn't seen it, but I had only heard of what happens. It's, uh, it's not equal. It's, it's crazy what roost roosters are extremely aggressive. Like, it's insane. So, <laughs> they had to, like, oh my god. It, it scarred me what they have to do with the roosters. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty rough. Because they hadn't raised roosters before, but... Basically, one rooster was selected, and the rest were left for nature. Um, and this left me feeling... It left me feeling bad, I'm gonna say. But the rooster who did survive felt good, I'll say that. That was one happy rooster. Uh, the others... Yeah, I didn't realize this. Anyway, but the ducks, though, were, like, much more a marvel to behold. I wonder if you could do any of that in this game. Ducks will, like, they'll function as a unit. They'll stay together if you leave them out to run on a field. And, like, they'll just... They'll get stuff done. They'll accomplish tasks. Chickens, though, will, like, they'll all move around. And they'll just go into a variety of different, like, messing around activities. It's kind of like just watching random vectors go to work. Whereas the ducks function as one. They know that they're ducks and they know that that's good that they're ducks. It's very fun to watch ducks like go about their day. Though they do poop a lot. But they're like, they're helping each other out. They're cleaning each other off. They're biting stuff off of each other. They're getting like the poop off of one another. The ducks, like they put the team on their back. All right, now I have I have exhausted myself. Tomorrow is an egg day, and maybe tomorrow I'll get my two thousand dollars. A lot of the days just seem to pass, and <gasps> the cat is in the bed. Get the hell out of my bed, though, cat. Can I move the cat? No, I can't move the. Wow, what a it, an inconvenient truth. I can move the bed, but not the cat. Pro MLG speedrunner move. I'm moving the bed closer to the door. I can get in and out fast. It may not be your IKEA indoor decoration tip number three. What am I even saying anymore? IKEA doesn't teach you anything about interior. God damn it! Interior decoration. I just like IKEA. I haven't been to IKEA in a while. 
I feel like that my sense of moving forward in life at times is just counting the days between the number of trips of when I will go to Ikea, you know? Sometimes I go in and just eat the food just to feel like, like I'm building something in my house, you know? Like even if I'm not gonna do a big home renovation, I'll have some Swedish meatballs. And that makes me feel okay and I can get by for the day. It's like a dollar for the Swedish meatballs in Ikea. I've had real authentic Swedish meatballs though. Compared to them, they're not very good, but for my country, they're about as well as I'm gonna do in a frequent manner. I should try making some of those though. And playing a game about farming makes me wanna go farm in real life, although that wouldn't go well. Okay, let's go to this goddamn museum. Where is the goddamn museum? Just, no one knows what building is on the north side. Could be just an evil villain's lair. Oh, museum and library. Oh, it's open early. Let's go to the library. Let's go to the library, gamers. Here we go. Nigel, thank you very much for the prime. Am I going to run off in real life to a remote valley? Oh, damn it! I can't even go into the town. We have some sort of military police state preventing me from entering the town. This is unacceptable again. Alright, what, what can I do to not tire myself out in the interim? Run off in real life in a remote valley and start... Didn't, um... Didn't White Boy 7th Street do that? The YouTuber? Didn't he basically go off to a valley to live a better life? I, I, have you been keeping up with his vlogs? It's very interesting to observe what he's done. He's, he seems very happy. I'm proud of him. I think that's what I'm gonna do when I'm, when I'm done on YouTube someday. When I've had enough, you know? I can't make another video. Ah, I'm gonna go crazy. And then that's when I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get like a water collector and it's gonna be a great time. I don't want to run out of energy before the festival of all things. Let's go out here. I do have any room in my inventory. Let's just put some of these things away just in case. I don't know what's gonna be there. There we go. Woo, woo, inventory clear out. Hey, everybody loves that. Wow. So probably like within the next couple of months, you could expect me to just disappear mysteriously. It's safe to assume I'm running a farm if you do. I'm probably happier. Flying Squirrel Bandit, thank you for the prime. Don't need energy for the festival. What if I just pass out at the fa festival? You got any eggs? I can't really see it. Oh well. Um, ugh, damn it. Oh look, they've even, even the, uh, the homeless dude comes over to the festival and no one's like, well he does kind of sit under a tree, but why don't they give him, he's the only homeless man, why don't they take care of him? Let's speak to the mayor. Do I think everyone's ready? Yes, I am ready. I am ready, I am ready. Are you feeling it, Mayor Egg? Oh damn it, now I have to race them. I don't tell me the answer. I want to just muddle through it. The annual spring egg hunt. Woo. Woo. Oh. Hold your horses there. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all the energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. This happened to me once. I won an egg hunt as a kid. Very skilled I was. Pushing the other children over. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, where, where are the goddamn eggs? Where is an egg? Oh, that's an egg. Okay, so it's a small purple bauble. Two. This is totally an egg. Okay, there's another one right over there. Um, there's probably some way to speed run this, but I certainly don't know it. Are the other people actually collecting the eggs? Oh, there's another one. You get out of here, you dingus. I'll kill you. I bet you, 
Oh God, can you imagine having like trauma over an egg hunt? Like somebody pushes you down. But everyone else is just kind of like messing around. Nobody's, they aren't actually collecting the eggs. What the hell? What is he doing over there? Out of breath? You have bad cardiovascular fitness. Not only do you lose because you are out of shape, but also I got more eggs than you and I got more candy. And I can probably metabolize them faster because I'm a faster runner than you. I was very good at egg hunting as a kid. Well, that is to say I was I was speedy enough. Well, I had endurance, but few egg hunts require endurance. You just kind of need to be fast enough to go get them. You're also running with a basket, so you need to be relatively coordinated. You can't be running at a, like a breakneck speed. <laughs> Man, an egg hunt is just like such a like a, a, a frivolous activity of pure gaiety. I really want to run my own egg hunt now. There we go. This is how I'm going to get the community back together. Did I lose? I didn't even pay attention. It happens once a year. I was having too much fun. I took an egg. I took an arrow to the knee. It's all right. 6 a.m. Oh, damn it. Get the hell out of here. I'm going to have to make some scarecrows. Okay, coal, wood, and fiber. Yeah, that's acceptable. Um, coal, fiber, and wood. Hmm. It's time for a scarecrow. Oh, uh, what is the radius on the scarecrow again? I haven't encountered any crows yet. Apparently it's sentient. This is disturbing. There we go. Okay, uh, woo, woo. Oh no, I didn't mean to put that in there. Oh no, I accidentally put my life savings into the drop box. Take my money. There we go. Could buy another cauliflower. I don't want to be so boring and just buy cauliflower seeds. Let's go to, um, let's go to the museum and donate these things today. It opens in about an hour. It should be time. I'm just going to finish watering these goddamn plants. We're going to be a rich man by the time we're done. But I need to remember the next time that I do this not to make another large purchase. I truly don't think that the backpack was worth it. I should have just gotten more cauliflower seeds. Because I could have gone to, like, exponential money growth, you know? Ooh, $100. Ooh. Very exciting. Eight spaces. Oh, okay, good. Eight spaces in all directions. Around 250 <laughs> 250 tiles. Yes, this isn't a scare crow. This is a terrify crow. Got to go to bed now. I've got a stupid job to go to in the morning. Tears of joy, tears of joy, tears of Oh no, what? Oh, I'm sorry that your job is stupid. Is it like, uh... Are you, are you aren't a car salesman, are you? Are you selling cars? God damn it. Are you Tom Nook? Hey, thank you for the 300 bits purple unicorn. I do appreciate it. I hope your I hope your work treats you well. Hang on a second. Is this the No, this is the archaeology office. Where would I Mayor's Manor, Mayor's Manor. Pierre's general store. Pierre, what is he eating a quiche or something? Whenever I hear the name Pierre, I'm just filled with French. Where is the goddamn museum? Mayor's Saloon, uh, River Road, Pierre's General Store, Pierre, Carpenter's Shop, where the hell is it again? Oh, this is the museum. Wait, I am here, aren't I? This is it. Oh, it's also the library. I was standing right in front of it and I even, whoa. It looks like Chicken Run. Just hot in there with no AC, oh. I Sorry that there's no AC at work. Hopefully they'll put that in. Donate to the museum. Oh, I like this song. This is very nice. Can't we learn more about it, though, if we put it in? Why? All right, well, I'll put it in the museum. That's fine. Next to the other minerals. What's in it for me? 
what does this say? Use fertilizer to improve quality, quality uh, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Ooh, fruit trees would be fun. Keep the area directly around the er, new sapling cutter, or else we'll not grow properly. Oh, I probably should have done that with the trees. I forgot to do that. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons, e.g. corn. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Good to know. Good to know. We're going to have to keep track of that. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with the scythe. Didn't know that, although I don't think we're going to go on any big kale kick. Speaking of which, eating kale is very difficult. You know, it's one of those foods that... I often think to myself that the worse the food tastes, the better it is for me. You know that? Is that true? Like, I've read that blueberries are one of the most nutrient-dense foods. But... Um... They taste, they, you know, like they taste pretty good, in my opinion. I think kale tastes like eating grass, but that must mean it's really good for you, right? Like I had a lizard that would eat kale, and he was a healthy lizard. One time when I took care of a lizard for high school. Although kale, it's hard to make it taste good. You gotta like slather it in leather, uh, not leather, lemon juice. The leather bit would be kind of interesting, though, too, I suppose. Am I going to... Ooh, wait a minute. I shouldn't have done this. I don't want to kill the crops. Did I do that? Let me just take this down. Yeah, I think I've destroyed that. Oh, no. What an idiot I've been. Oh, well. Um, Time to buy more cauliflower seeds, I think. Uh, or even do I want to go back? Yeah, I'll go back a little bit. Oh, and then I'll clear more land. 14th. Maybe I'll take till like the 15th this time. I think that would be a good way to spend the first 15 days. Yes, slicing it and dicing it very finely. Putting in a soup. Ooh, the soup isn't a bad idea. If prepared right. Yeah, raw kale. Well, you could do like kale chips. You put them in the oven. That can be tricky to get exactly the right consistency, though. I've tried it. I put on too much olive oil on the kale, and it just wasn't the same. Yeah, I don't know. I've really been on a health kick. It was like, uh... I don't know what it was that did. I think it's it's like when you make just one change in your life, like, you start to feel better with it. Yeah. It's good. It got me, like, philosophically inclined, too. I mean, it pretty much everything does. I, that's not an act at all. Like, I, I just go there even when it's not even desirable that I should be existential. Like, it's problematic, and I've had it since I was... I, I lapsed. I didn't know how to deal with these thoughts when I was about 18. I think... I've noticed that I, I seem to tend to these things, at least on the surface, more than the people around me do. And at that age, it was troubling, because I didn't know how to handle it. So I'd be in the study hall in school, and I would be like, Hello, what is your name? What do you think is the meaning of life? Like, I, I was not an easy person to be around when I was 18. I was confused. As I got older, it got even worse before it got better. That is to say. Um, yeah, I was thinking of trying to do some of that type of stuff on YouTube. Although, um, not, the idea of trying to be philosophical... It always troubles me when people write comments like, Oh, I loved it when you used to be philosophical in videos. Because now, if you kind of go down that road and you're trying to do something... Like, I respect that they enjoyed it, and that makes sense to me. But it's also like, uh, I can't do that all the time, otherwise it won't be interesting. I need to kind of do it for me. I've talked about this a lot on VODs, though. I feel like I've said enough about this that I feel at peace with it. But yeah, I was hoping that now that I have a couple of other people helping me, it would allow me a little bit more space to actually create some more interesting types of content like that. Where we actually go into, like, existentialism and gaming. And it's a whole new variety of content that I've thought of. Like, a kind of a segment. Um, talking about the kind of existential bent of every game. Because I, I do think that there's, like, a lot of... Um, like, game design principles that are really interesting to kind of uh, dissect. Yeah, existentially. And just, like, see what makes some games more motivating to play than others. And just to do it individually for different games, I think it would be a fun way to kind of repeat it for different stuff. 
as well as do like different kinds of video essays. I just, I find myself self-conscious at times that I, I feel like a lot of what I end up doing just winds up being game challenges. And I kind of want to get outside of that box, hopefully in the next year or so. But I hate to say these things in like any type of big public announcement, which is why I leave them here in an obscure place midway through a VOD on the VOD channel. So that I kind of make it as a promise to myself, but nobody knows what I'm planning, you know? And that makes me feel good. Production anything could be made interesting. It's I I agree with I agree with that. Or even like the kind of isometric stuff in these games. I can't remember, there was another YouTuber I'd made a video about the bizarre like the strange reality of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I can't remember the name of the guy who did this video, but it was really interesting. And I'm like, ah, that's the type of video. I would really want to create. It doesn't really have a very good, I guess, like, or I haven't really ventured into how to make a good video essay yet that's compelling from beginning to end, which you kind of got to do on YouTube, um, rather than just like, oh, I like this thing a lot. That's where it often starts. But there's just so many other topics I'd want to discuss, and I'm like, I, I think that you kind of got to keep pushing yourself to keep doing stuff like this. And I was talking about how Kevin does stuff. Like, Kevin seems to be very happy because he now... Like, he will talk about 90s TV in a segment or something like that. And I'm just like, oh, that's a really fun idea. Like, it'd be cool to experiment with something like that. Um, yeah, so hoping to do some stuff like that in the next year or two. Some of those might be a little bit more long-term. First, I just kind of want to get the pipeline down with the people I'm working with. But yeah... <laughs> Um, I can't remember where I started talking about this. I'm just going off on various ideas I want to do. Jacob Geller made that one. Oh, is that a Jacob Geller? Was that his video? Thank you. I was there when I said, I am an alcoholic. I mean, um, I have an idea. Hmm. There we go. Go to sleep, boy. Go to sleep, boy. Hey, Techno Beaver, what's up, brother? You doing Zomboid? How's it going? You do any crazy challenges lately? Have you been doing just Zomboid or a couple of other games on, as far as the streaming goes? What's up, dude? Um, I'm a former film nerd, so I go into straight vi or video essay. Orson Welles, F for fake, for inspiration. I don't know that. Talking about the Irish Kevin. Yes, Irish Kevin. What other Kevin... I suppose I don't really know what stuff you guys watch. I always just sort of see the people that my audience watches. It's always about the same 10 to 12 people. Um, he's one of them. And your other favorites. Though the funny part is that YouTube is sometimes so compartmentalized that like, people will just stay in their own niche and not really explore outside of it. Or like sometimes people have the challenge man that they watch. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to kind of fit a lot of the taste to things I would watch now as I'm getting closer to the age of 30. You know, like, now that I don't even really enjoy watching a game video anymore or a game challenge video as much anymore, but something about, like, the philosophy of gaming and gaming in general. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of evolving with me as I get a little bit older and I get a little bit more experienced with this stuff. I mean, keep in mind, I started this channel when I was 22, and I wanted to kind of explore a massive library of Steam games that I had. One of the main things I wanted to do. And I wanted to get better at talking, too. I did a lot of that. Not a very good listener. I need to... I've been working on that one lately. It does make me self-conscious about this. Like, I... I am conscious at times of how much I speak, just because of the nature of the work I do. Like, I... I'm constantly speaking right now in order to do this. A at times it made me into just a crappy listener in real life, but now there's nothing I get more relief from um, than just listening to other people in real life. It's strange the way that like, f you know, kind of as it were developing a persona, if you will, on the internet or personality, if I may say that, cringe though it may seem, has made me I don't know, maybe I'm not really the right person to be talking about this. Not really more able to do that in real life, but able to do the opposite of that. Able to just relax and feeling more confident in who I am. 
I felt like I was pretty underconfident though when I was 22. I think teaching gave me a lot more confidence. Here I go, I told you I would go back on life and the way things are going. But yeah, I don't know, that is to say, I think a few months ago I was just kind of psychologically absorbing all the YouTubing stuff. I don't know, like the, the success of the last couple of years. And I feel like I've, uh... I don't know, I feel, I feel like I'm starting to own it a little bit more now. I feel better about it. Mainly do Zombo, it's actually a big PB, uh... PB, what does PB run? But doing New Vegas pretty soon. Hope you're well. Hope you're well too, man. What's PB? Wait, PB. Player, I was thinking PUBG. Like peanut butter? You're gonna eat a lot of peanut butter on stream? That might be compelling. Like, uh, guys, I'm gonna do a face reveal. And although I've already revealed my face, I'm just gonna eat a lot of peanut butter on stream and then slather it all over myself. Because what else would I do? Would do oh, look, the cat made its way out of the house. Oh, personal best. Could it be a personal best for, like, amount of peanut butter consumed? It's time for me to go to sleep. Uh, uh, I'm a little uninventive here. Maybe I need to get more into crop eating. I don't know, let's just do kind of like an after-action report here. Uh, guys, what do you think I need to do more of if I want to do a better job on my farm? Because I think I'm going to end my first segment right here. Um, 15 days, let's do a little bit of planting right now. Because a planting we go. A planting we go. Um, what could we have... I felt like I, I just kind of wanted to throw everything at, at the board and see what sticks, you know? Getting more, yeah, I think getting more seeds in the ground would be important. Ooh, a greenhouse would be good. A yeah, a little bit making it actually pretty and rather than just a scattered mess, which it is right now. Um, that would be nice. Could have won the egg. Hey, I, I did a great, I tried my best. I was trying to get peanut butter during the race. Do a Dwarf Fortress video series. Probably not anytime soon. Might go back for it for a segment. Um... If it gets a big update at this point. Right now, no plans, unfortunately. I want I want to, but it's just that it, it takes a while to do a Dwarf Fortress, and I'm not that good at it. It takes a while to get better at that game. There's also, I want them to update some of the task UI. Or I'm waiting for a mod that does it, because some of the task UI is very impossible to navigate. 9x9 nine nine grids are larger for the cauliflower. I feel like the cauliflower was maybe the big one. Yeah, we just need to get more seeds in the ground. I'm beginning to appreciate the fact that getting a backpack early was kind of a major mistake. And that was a bad thing that I should not have done. I should have just gotten more cauliflower. Maybe that's the answer. I don't want to just say that, like, cauliflower is the real cash crop, the real money maker, the real uh, cheese that makes you sneeze. But, if I were to pick a plant, it would be that. Nothing that I said makes sense, but... I take great comfort in that. And we should probably make this farm look slightly better. Oh my gosh, look, the energy bar is just pathetic right now. Sad. Uh, anyway, I think that's all I'm gonna do for today. I'm gonna donate, I mean sell this parsnip. Uh, we could have sold a little bit more. I guess we could use that. You know, let me just put in all of my wood and plant fiber and everything and just see what all of this sells for. I haven't really used this stuff. I'm just going to put everything in because I clearly have not been using these resources. They are somewhat useful, but the big limiter right here is just the fact that I'm simply not getting, uh, I'm simply not getting the money I need, you know? We'll have more stone in no time. Let's sell it all and see what happens. I, uh, maybe not the stone. Maybe like half of the stone. We don't need that much of it right now. Yeah, even like a cherry bomb, yeah, let's get the sap in there. Oh yeah, get the sap in there. Let's see how much money we make. And then the next time we come back, we can get a lot more uh, stuff. I, I don't need to be the best. My goal here is to just kind of muddle through and learn the game, you know what I mean? I, I do believe there's value to it. You learn, you learn. Learning boy. Do you know why they call him Pierre? Cause his bladder is empty. <laughs> ah, that's that's very funny. Uh, very funny name pun. 
1524. Okay, we can now put in cauliflower seeds. Oh, maybe I'll just sow the cauliflower seeds so that it doesn't look so crap for the next time we come back. Yeah, let's do the 9x9. Nine nine. Um, we'll do that. That'll be a good day's work. Hmm. Okay, I will put... I will enter the potatoes in. And then let's put 9x9. Nine nine. One, two, three, four. Oh, we should be able to fit it right to the edge here. That's nice. Okay, good. Or can we move this guy? How do I move this thing? Yes, that makes perfect sense. I will put that there. Okay, now let's cultivate. Ah, this will look much better. Oh! Oh, how grateful I am for myself working nonstop. I'm gonna destroy these plants. There we go. Plants destroyed. Um, hmm. Two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, no. Two, three. Why does he swing it with such, like, zell overhead? He he hops as well. This guy does. He has hops. Oh man. Okay, so then this should be the grid that is comfortable. To no. Oh well, whatever. I'm gonna live with it. I won't have quite that much. It's not perfectly efficient, but you'll live with it. Just let it bother you. Okay, now I feel good about my farm. It is a grid, and I am justified. Sort of. Mm, come on. There we go. Cool. Ooh, clay. Very fun. I thought that was more rare, but it apparently is not. Oh, spring crops die as soon as summer starts. Oh, no. Oh, well. Well, now I have it for whatever comes next. Anyway, when does spring end? This is sad. Year one, well, well, year one farm. I mean, that could be a thing. Like the year one farm is the learning farm. Let's go ahead and check the calendar. What is also the um, plant to death time or harvest time? Sorry, not really a great way to say that, I guess. Um, on the farm. Hang on a second. What is this? Pierre's General Store. Give me the calendar. Wait a minute. No, the, the cauliflower will be able to survive. You guys are crazy. Yeah, we've got like two weeks of spring left, right? Each season is 28 days. Shouldn't we be able to do that? How many days is cauliflower? Till I don't believe there's any nudity in the game. What is the cauli... Okay, ca Oh, damn it! Oh, we just barely missed the end of the cauliflower. I just got my stuff together at the last second. Okay, wait a second. We have an event. Okay, Mr. Man. I've been here before. Stop treating me like... Oh, no. A dark figure emerges. Is it a ring wraith? Naturally, the question arises. Oh, no! This is the man who's going to eat us out of house and home. Oh, he's walking around, honestly. Coupons for 50% off. 50%? Oh, that is a pretty good deal, honestly. Yeah, he basically is. They should have played the Ring Wraith music. Support local business. Can't match those prices. Okay, so now is he going to tempt me with coupons? It must be... It's <laughs> the most sinister businessman. <laughs> I'm not sure. Are you? What is the? Is there a law? Clearly, this is like dirty business practice to go. It's like if people from Walmart invaded Target and like were like <laughs> offering people paper towels for a dollar less or something. Six days to mature. Okay, we're going for potatoes. This is fine. Calling upon my Irish heritage. Can you imagine? <laughs> and then... <laughs> Walmart employees invade Target. That would be crazy. They would bring like a battering ram and everything, right? How would it go down? Walmart invaded the local farmers. Well, yeah, that would be more like it, you know? They invaded the farmer's market. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's plant all of the goddamn potatoes in the ground. Here we go. 
Oh, wow, I had a lot more space than I thought I did. Great, okay, let's go back and buy more. What do I need? That was around 20. I could do the math, but I'm going to say it's around another 30-ish, and I could always just save the seeds if I need. Yeah, what would they have come in in? Um, I'm trying to think. Do th Yeah, the Walmart employees don't really drive anything. A lot of the time when I go to Walmart... Well, my Walmart. I see some... I see some crazy stuff at my Walmart. There's some wild stuff in there. Good deals. Good deals at that Walmart. <laughs> Walmart is... Depending upon where you go... See, I didn't know this until I moved. Um, back in New York, Walmart is just like a normal place. But in, in the South, Walmart is like... This whole different beast. It's crazy. <laughs> it's wild. You, you gotta come. You gotta figure. You gotta see it for yourself. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Joja Mart. Jo go to Joja Mart. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right, I guess I'll just water now. I'll do a little bit more breaking. Um, when does the game save? Do I need to save or does it just save when I sleep? I don't honestly know what I'm doing there. Exit game, exit to title. I guess it does it when I sleep, right? Target feels bad. See, I feel safe and happy when I'm at a Target. It depends on the Target, though, too. I've been into a couple of crazy Targets. Kmart used to be insanity. I miss Kmart. I love... There was nothing, like, more wild than going into a Kmart. You never knew what you would see. There was the Kmart in uh, New York City. You know, the one in like uh, in Penn Station. That one was crazy. It's like I was I was getting such nostalgia when I heard Schlatt saying that he was moving from New York to Texas and he's naming places in Penn Station I used to eat at. I was like, ah, good job. Good job, sir. I, I salute you. Yeah, it's getting me a little bit nostalgic. Circuit City! Dude, I got a Wii at a Circuit City. Happened in Canada with Future Shop and Visions. <laughs> Frank's trying to steal customers from... Jesus Christ. Ah, the real-life analogs of this game. Now, I do like the RPG system here. I gotta say, like, I am feeling a sense of progression. I'm liking Stardew Valley. This is pretty cool. I mean, we gotta clearly get our tools upgraded. We gotta get better crops and stuff. And I clearly made a bunch of noob mistakes, but... I don't know, I kind of wanted to make them, because I enjoy playing the game and, like, learning it, rather than just when people tell me all of the secrets immediately. Sure, neighbor, hope you're... Fertilize! Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, but I will kind of look back from time to time. Thank you for the help, but it does, I do appreciate, it does appreciate it. Um, but I, I think I will leave it there for tonight because we're going on you know, past midnight now. And uh, I, I think that's probably a good time to leave it at. Um, I don't really know who else is on. I'm going to probably leave you guys with somebody else who's in an earlier time zone. But yeah, let's go ahead and save our game and... Um, yeah, I guess we'll pick it back up with the next part, and we'll just keep going through the 100 days. And it'll be a while, but we'll get some good uh, good farming in. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think, cool, our progress has been saved. And there goes the roost, un the unfortunate life of the rooster. <laughs>